what I'm trying to think of, okay, so when it comes to the peni, okay, peni, okay. the science guy, peni, the science guy. <laughs> they're straight, he is a okay. They're straight. Unlike the stream. And stop <laughs> thinking too hard about the gay shit, Dermy. Unlike the stream, we are all... A hamster's about to die. Don't be hard thinking about the hard shit. The, this is math, okay? This is science. No, this is gay. <laughs> this is science. <laughs> they get blood. Yes, they fucked everything up. They, they screwed up the entire process of initiation <laughs> and all sorts of shit. And holy ever-living... God, dude, you look fucking amazing. Fucking Jesus, don't do that again. No, don't do that again. Those fucking wow. Yeah, boy. That's milk there, baby. Boy, that's like a good oh, one. That was a fuck up. <laughs> Your channel should be demonetized on the excessive adipose tissue display alone. If women with smaller boobs can't show theirs, you shouldn't either. It's called women's rights, Dermy. Stop being a fucking bigot. I Another have minute, my... Dermy's gonna start singing sexy songs. To I have my left hand, <laughs> and I'm cheating on it with my right hand. That's about it. Buzzfeed, how gay are you? Please. This quiz does not represent me at all. Jesus, Buzzfeed! <laughs> hey, you understand what you're dealing with here? This is Blaster from Thunderdome. He has the mind of a child. He is a retard. He doesn't understand what he's doing. He doesn't understand what he's saying. Therefore, you're picking on this. You're thinking it's a trophy for beating him. Big Daddy. <laughs> Tim, you're a genius. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, no, that was uh back in like what, 2019? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? What? <laughs> what the fuck? I love how Slit is just in the top side of the fucking Just, Just for the record, why are you surrounded by <laughs> Mostly. There are me sleeps with two dudes every night. Nice. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. He's gonna go down his shirt. He's gonna go down his shirt. He's gonna be itchy all night. I am not gay. I have relationships with women. Jesus Christ, Dermy. The only benefit of you shaving that fucking thing you call a beard is that I can get a more accurate chin count on you. Now, look at the camera. <laughs> look right at the camera. Can oh you guys God. recap that? There's your mug shot. Uh, I'm trying to put a, talk about all sorts of topics on my show, oh. and it's like, no, I can't talk about topics. I can't talk about topics. <laughs> hey. Wait, if but that's for me to drink. That's for me to drink. But, but for every super chat, I say, uh, uh, hey, super chat, he's right. gonna be a kid kid for every hey. super chat. Look at, look at this. Oh, God, damn it, Derby. Yes, this was the deal. I wasn't turn, going turn to around. watch this stupid. No, no, oh, let's, let's do the bottom. Let's do the bottom. <laughs> you knew God hated you at an early age when your parents rolled you in the church for the christening by the priest as a baby. The priest thought you were so fucking fat that the ordinary ceremony wouldn't even cover your ass. So he asked the ship captain in the congregation to break a champagne bottle on the starboard side of your ass to christen you. What the fuck is this? Dude. What the fuck? You're the one who holds it up. The iron I'm sheet. I'm the iron sheet. It's the iron sheet. I'm 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 the iron sheet. I
Listen, Hamas. Listen, Hamas. I don't believe in you. I don't don't believe in you. I don't believe in you, Hamas. Okay. I am not Hamas. I am Iron (laughs) Sheik. I don't believe in Muslim ideology. I am number one. Are you talking about informing a loop? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, the, the thing is, is that there is a little bit of fix, a flexibility. If you have like 15 degrees off to the left and you got you got 20 some of them some bitches or whatever, you're going to be able to form a loop eventually. Yeah, it's just the, like the little curve. Just like it says, yeah, curve. it's just like. Do a little curve, do a little curve, do a little curve, do a little curve. And eventually 15 degrees. What? I mean, I mean, Dur- Dermy's over here thinking that he's going to be with these, like, three dudes or whatever, and then all of a sudden the guy in the front and then somehow behind him. And it'll work that way, Dermy. Mr. Fantastic. It takes a 20 or more. Yeah, do you teach yeah. a lot of dudes? Shit. Dermy. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking retarded. <laughs> Welcome to Ball Busters, where I've already been drinking a little bit. Dermy, that's yeah. nothing new. Dermy, it's time to get Bug to do a new intro because all of our assets, all of our avatars, have completely changed since he made yeah. that. Yeah, we really do, and maybe get rid of a few people from the intro because they're never here anymore. It feels like. Hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I could I could start putting less people on the thumbnails every week, and it would make my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> that would help. Uh, really quick, before we get too far into it, Dermy's burnt nipple. <laughs> I don't even want to know how that happened. I, I don't want to know how that possibly happened. Uh, well, it was Nair, Nair. It was burnt with Nair chemical burn. Oh yeah, you know I I, I must I think I blotted that out from my memory. <laughs> I don't think you were on the stream when I narrated. I my was chat. there. What are you talking about? I was were off you? camera. It was in my camera. Brandon, welcome my... to Ballbusters. This is entirely hell and how. It yeah, this isn't planned. like Anime Odyssey where we're going to have constructive conversations. No, this is a shit show right from the get go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and you, I'm all here that, for it. <laughs> you learned that through the intro, but real quick, for five dollars, he says, "I'm still in pain. Life is suffering." I have newfound respect, admiration, and empathy for Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they hurt for a while. I'm not going to lie. That was uh, several days of pain. But uh, <laughs> welcome all to uh, Chaos Incarnate Ballbusters, where we have some interesting news. Some uh, Adam, at least, informed me about something that we can talk about right off the bat uh, here in a bit that I didn't even notice was happening because I was too busy playing Hell Divers and stuff like that. But uh, let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves, though. Uh, Devil made me do it. How are you doing? I am doing great. Um, yeah. Happy to be here, as always. As, as always? As always. That's a lie. You're, <laughs> you're going to stay here for the whole time? Yes. Must. Dude, one time, one time I cut out early. Out of how many episodes is this? Uh, 50, aren't we on like 60? <laughs> it, it says 52, 52, but Dermy can't 60. count, so he may be off. 
I always double check the prior number. Yeah, but who knows where you got it wrong along the way? I always double check those. Every week I go through them. You can't sure you can't be counted. You can't count on the count ever since he had got off of counting his toes and fingers. <laughs> After that, I was looking for a toe and finger joke too. <laughs> yeah. I can count up to twenty one. <laughs> you got twenty one toes and fingers. Listen, listen, that last one, you never find it all the time. Come on. <laughs> Adam got where I was going with that one. So I'm I'm <laughs> proud of that. But Adam, how are you doing? I guess I'm okay. Uh my wake sleep schedule is all fucked up, so I don't like waking up in the afternoon because I go to bed at 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning right now. Uh, so uh, other than that, I guess I'm all right. I mean, I'm here. I don't want to be here. I never want to be here, but I'm trapped. Can't escape. So um, yeah. fuck you. It's because I have that Jewish hold over you. That makes no sense whatsoever. No, it really doesn't make sense, does it? Because I'm not Jewish, but you are. So I'm trying to figure out a way to. Yeah, see, if you can't go to the oven or the or the shower, you got nothing. Yeah. And you lean it. You know, you got you, you got to change your tack. Talk about me fiddling on a roof or something, or building golems or something. You know, go go branch out. Hmm. And golems are cool. Yeah, being, being up on a roof is fun. You could have been creative. So you you could have been like, if you were a rich man. Or some shit, but no, 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 no. He's the only. <laughs> listen, he's the only poor Jew out there. Okay, he he can't. He sold off his back. Mm, not true. On his neck. Listen, my life choices are my life choices. I got nothing. all I heard was Cloud say that he's not the only poor Jew out there. Cloud, are, do you have something you want to tell me? <laughs> I was gonna say my ex. He was asking oh. Ashkenazic Jewish. Did you? Did you just Did you say, say he? he? You just say he. <laughs> I said he. No, devil heard it too. <laughs> yeah, I heard he. Devil heard it too. No, so yeah, something to tell us, Cloud. <laughs> breaking news: Cloud is by. I fucking hate it. everything and everyone. Or is it? Was it the hairy girl? So it's like it was. She's kind of do this. <laughs> I'm never speaking again. <laughs> Before Sorry, we move Cloud. on to uh, Cloud's intro, I have to hit get this one. Stream stream elements for another five dollars comes from Devil's Butthole. Oh God, not my butthole! Why the hell There's can't no shut the fuck up? In... <laughs> Which one? What did it say? You can't even you can't, you can't even get it out. Come on, what is it? <laughs> There's a Funko Pop in me. <laughs> Guess <laughs> which one? I don't want to play that game. Well, Devil's Butthole asked the question. But I don't want to play this game. Why do you have say... such gayness around it? I don't know. You're surprised? No. No. <clears throat> I'm not at all. You're our friend. Come on. I'm I'm gonna say uh it's BL's a pub. Is there an answer or is it just the question? The question? No, it's it's just a question. If there was a Funko pop up there, I definitely wouldn't tell people about it. I was gonna yeah, say, did they forget to change the name of their account? Yeah, because, secret, but... Considering it's stream, el- it's stream elements, you can do whatever. So, oh, I know um, who it is. <laughs> I think I know who it is too. Exactly. It's definitely Cloud. Cloud, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm all right. You know, Listen, we all we all know mm-hmm. you had a very exciting day today. Once again, being a lambasted <laughs> on side scrollers for being a simp. Oh yeah, what happened? You don't. I what happened asleep. today, what Cloud? Happened? On Ball... What happened today, Cloud on Ballbusters? What 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 happened? Well, uh, Ballbusters. You mean side scrollers? I mean, dumbass. What happened today on side scrollers? Oh god, what, what happened? That was funny. If you're talking about what I think you're talking about. Well, uh, if you if I know what you think you're talking about, uh, Blab learned what DP meant. Oh, that thing. Yeah, you already told us about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. You didn't know what DP meant? No, no Labs knew. didn't. Oh. Labs. On Side Scroller, she thought it meant Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and she's all well, like, <laughs> listen, a Dr. Pepper can come into play. All right. <laughs> that is creative. true. Well, if you're creative, it can be done. Don't want to see well, it be done, but it can be done. <laughs> it, it, it can now, be done. I, I don't think it's a fun time. I, I will challenge y'all, if any, and I'll be very surprised. Anyone know what DVDA means? Uh, resident degenerates. Any any answers to that? 
<laughs> DV D DV. He's gonna try. Dick vagina dick ass. No. Okay then. See, I'm not a dick. Hey, it's like, I, I think I would I say know. like you're fifty percent there though. <laughs> So vagina and ass have to be the correct ones. Is there dirty a monkey vagina, involved? Dirty ass? No. No on both counts. <laughs> what? What, what, what in your brain makes you go to monkey there, Adam? I'm just throwing ideas out there. That's all. And, Listen, and, and, all I know for sure is the moment Cloud found out that Blabs now knows about double penetration, he got very excited. He was I like, did oh not. My oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not. Yes, yes, you did. We all no, know you I did. didn't. But apparently now it is lore that I, I have a shrine to her. Yes, that is lore, and I do We've have seen pictures it. of it. <laughs> have we, we have yeah. pictures of it. Trust me, I have a picture of it. It'll give me a moment because you brought it up. I was saving it for later. <laughs> I need to go grab it real quick. Damn it, Dermy, uh, be ready with no, this shit. I'm gonna have to make. Well, I was a meme out of it. this one. Dude, you, you weren't planning on cheating on Cloud at some point. Come on, not not with this one, but he brought it up, so I have to go grab it. <laughs> from the same movie that your little uh, hair doll video comes from, there's actually a time in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 not mine. <laughs> Fake news. In that video, I, I could find the clip. The dude who has the little hair doll has a shrine to the girl, and he literally <laughs> puts a pair of her panties on his head and starts talking to the hair doll. I didn't use that for <laughs> the video clip I made of you. Well, but I guess might have what? to do it. Guess what? Now you are. <laughs> <laughs> Extra so zero just... for the win, by the way. He's got the answer in the chat. It's just in your DMs. Wait, what's in the Yep, DMs? that's what I thought. Probably the, the picture. Because he made it. Yeah, I I knew, dude. That I knew because that's where I was going to grab it from. But did he oh. send me something else? No. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. But cloud, cloud. Do you, do you want to do an intro or are are you done with your intro? I have no. to I have to check with you before I move on. Shut up. I'll do the intro. Uh, I am cloud. You can find me making. <laughs> read it. The holy hey, that shrine. Show, that that show is awesome. Yes, Godless Reincarnation is. is one of the best damn shows out there right now. Yes, dude, it is. Dude, dude worships the underwear of his magic tutor. <laughs> Indeed, I can't wait for season two, part two. Can't wait this week, this coming week. Uh, see, for me though, oh, I'm gonna shit. wait uh, two months because I <laughs> I have to watch it straight through. I can't watch one week at a time it's too good I cloud you're gonna want to finish your intro then i have some more super chats I gotta yeah it's all right all right um you can you find me ma making memes on twitter mostly for side scrollers and uh you can check out my youtube channel where i post videos of shinies i get in pokemon go there i'm done then i have two super chats for five dollars one from clouds shrine to blabs um oh shit just read it. <laughs> I'm covered in semen. It's oh. not all from cloud. What the fuck? Wow. Who else is going in your room and using your shrine, dude? No, 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 no. That's not the use the shrine. It's where did you get the elements for the shrine? Is the is the question? I don't. I don't want to know. Then I mean, um. Well, if it was dirty, another five. You no, know, he picks that stuff up at the truck stop, and there's the answer. Yeah. And then then for another five dollars. From Cloud's favorite porn bot says pussy and bio winky face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Cloud. All, all I got to say is you got to understand the season two part one is all about him suffering from um, erectile dysfunction and his quest to get his heart on back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, that's what Glorious. you call cloud coverage. <laughs> May cloud one day have the strength to meme us as hard as we meme him. Uh, cloud, you yes. ha cloud had his chances all week. He has his chances. He just doesn't take them. The fuck are you lying, cloud? See, yeah, I know easy. I'm gay. It's that easy. Yeah, it's that easy. It's that easy, but. 
the problem is we'll be having like Cloud's mom super chat mm-hmm. us and everything, and then the next thing you know, you hear Cloud's mom actually in the back of his uh room. Well, <laughs> That's so bad. Listen, we got so he got so close to that Chick Fil A reward, and then it got snatched away. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of lore anime, uh, Brandon, that you're not gonna know, but you're just gonna want to. Did you all? Did you out. also see his meme today of me getting a pop vinyl of Blab? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, I had it up. I I had it. I I got rid of it, but uh, yeah, you got that, and then we. That's where the shrine came from. But uh, speaking of people that have shrines, Adam Soldier Spirit, how are you doing? I have shrines. Look <laughs> just right behind you. I see a shrine to Green Bay Packers. Oh yeah, well, I'll accept that. Yes, go pack go. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, yeah, we just had a fun time playing Hell Divers and me getting uh, uh, fragged a lot by uh, fucking Dermy here. Uh, many, many fucking times. Uh, had a fun time though. <laughs> that was and, hell in the end. <laughs> dude, looking forward to uh, ne- uh, not this Saturday, uh, Friday, but Friday after next, where it's going to be back to back streams. Um, actually, back to back to back in the studio yeah. at Vegas. It'll go from Friday Night Tights to Skinamax Friday on Vets Talking to Ball Busters with Dermy Warmy. That is yeah, going to be a yeah. that is going to be a fucking epic night. So uh, yeah, I'm getting all my shit ready. I've got my RV uh, getting worked on. To I got to drop my truck and get my transmission fixed, and then cross my fingers that I'm going to be able to drive down to Vegas and stay there for an entire week. Uh, hopefully everything will work out and the stars will align. But uh, looking forward to it. Watch is literally nothing. All hell breaks loose because, I mean, you're associated with me and this is real life we're talking about. It's not it's some sort of anime where everything just seems to align. No, everything, all hell will break loose, especially when I bring my taser. Oh, shit. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> you don't know this lore, but in two weeks at Vegas, I will be getting tased, pepper sprayed, and I feel like there was something else I was missing. Gal's gonna punch me in the balls. No me. Yeah, no. Gal's gonna punch me in the balls, and no me without you is going to be threading my eyebrows and beard. Yes, you are not going your to enjoy eyebrows Vegas. and beard. Don't ask. Oh yeah. yes, it is. It's it's very painful. They use a very thin thread that they lace over itself, and then they put it where they rub it across your hair, so the hair slides between the different strings and then they pinch it and rip and so it tears your hairs out little by little Why? from your face He's okay i i can understand you getting tased i can understand you getting pepper sprayed hell i can even understand you getting uh you know cock smacked but why the oh, hell are one. you doing that last <laughs> Be- one all of why? them have one thing in common he got super chats to do it. <laughs> he got all but one of them. I offered the threading because for Nomi to try to get people to uh, to super chat to get her to Vegas, and I slightly wish I didn't. Yikes! Mm. That man, oh man, that just sounds like a a glutton for punishment. There, yep. a massive yeah, glutton, a, a hooker for pre- uh, for punishment. It's yes. going to be recorded, <laughs> and we're going to live it over and over again for a while oh i can imagine it will never be let down and every nope. time you see it you're gonna be like oh shit that hurts again <laughs> now, did I you realize this? all that money that he got for it he already spent it on stupid shit <laughs> yeah. really the even stupider yeah. shit is that how much did you get for that i think for the tasing you got what 100 50? i think it was 100 100 uh, it might have been dollars no you know what? i think it was supposed to be 50 and then he got another 50 after that yeah, we all together total. if if he knew how much he could make i mean we did our our, our uh fundraiser thing and made what twelve hundred dollars mm-hmm. speaking so... of which if i make it to five hundred dollars by the end of next friday uh primarily via stream elements i will get a tattoo in vegas as well oh god damn it Jeremy. <laughs> and it's gonna i've already i've already planned this one out because devil are, said are he's gonna get a tattoo, or is somebody else choosing it? I I've already chose. I've already chosen. Top it. super chatter gets to pick it. I've already chosen it. Chosen. It's wow. a giant because dick, I, isn't it? No, because this is gonna be funnier. This is gonna be funnier. If it's a Pokemon, yeah. I'm gonna slap you so hard. No, 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 no. It, it's gonna be very small, just simple. It's like gonna a be dick. Devil maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be devil maybe do it on my wrist, but preferably <laughs> the wrist that I do my uh, fun time with. 
That way I can oh go God. like devil help me do it every single night. <laughs> what you have part of this? this there is so... something so wrong. There are you. lines in friendships that you're not supposed to cross for me. <laughs> and and he like, crosses every single one of them. I mean it's it, I mean at the very yes. least get a tattoo on your ass where we never have to see it. No, this is funnier to me because devil's cringing. I am. We're all cringing by that. Yeah, I'm not showing it, but I'm 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 dying of cringe over here. Holy mm. crap! <laughs> every what time the hell I, mean, did I walk into, <laughs> every time I go to shake his hand, I'm gonna be like, just oh. But still, I mean, that's cool that worse. you're doing that stuff. But I yeah. I would never do a tattoo mm -hmm. like that. I've I've got my tattoos. I don't I don't need any more. I'm good. I mean, it could be worse. I could get Devil's name on my bat on, on my ass. Yeah, you could. Or all right, you could guys, get something like, all right you guys, know. here's your mission. Get him drunk enough so that you can change it to a tramp stamp. You know what? You know what? I'll say this. For $600, I'll get Devil's name tattooed on my ass. What <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Why? I See, here's the problem. This reason. Here's the problem. Devil just doesn't want to have the guys at the truck stop knowing his name. That's the biggest problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could get Soldier Spirit's name on my ass. Yeah, that for that one. better. I'll get somebody's name on my ass. I'll make it random. I'll, I'll have somebody pick it out of a hat. How about that? It's gonna be for Gal. Know, and she's, gonna, she's gonna beat you up even harder. For all we <laughs> no, know, it no. could be uh, the Renaissance nerd on my ass. Well, I'll never see it. So fine. <laughs> That's, That's when Adam closed yeah. down his channel, <laughs> left the internet. <laughs> That's it. I lose the internet. I'm done. <laughs> Jeremy tattooed my name on his ass. Speaking of people that might be hey. feeling like they want to leave the internet, though. Oh, wait, Adam. Hold, hold on. Yeah, I forgot from my intro. I was also going to say extra zero. Yes, for the win. At DVDA is the name of Matt Smith and Trey Parker's band that they had back in the day. And it stands for Double Vagina, Double Anal. So it's you and three friends just getting together and having a good time. Jeremy has no friends. <laughs> well, I mean, I have my left hand and my right hand. But anyways, uh, Kratos of Kratos for five dollars over on uh, Rumble says, "Yes, a tattoo on your ass that says Devil made me do it makes too much sense." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Then uh, extra zero for five dollars over on YouTube says. Get a tattoo of Cloud like Randy from South Park covered in jizz, holding a Chick-fil-A sandwich and have Cloud's corner up. Man, Zero's choosing violence tonight. He really wow. is. He chooses violence against me all the time. Yeah, but usually I... he doesn't super chat it. I mean, he's just violence tonight, man. That That is violent, and I think that's going to cost me a whole lot more than $600. Open, open hostility. I brought this on in a way because I'm going to do super chats for the next couple weeks. If I can get 150, I'm going to get the tattoo on my uh, forearm that I've been showing. Uh, wanted it for a while and stuff. And that's when Dermy came up with his perverted idea because, yeah, he can't take something normal and not freaking make it disgusting. <laughs> Every, it, it, Obviously. He has one setting, degenerate. Yeah. Make it as disturbing as humanly possible. Make us the world cringe. That's my, that's my goal in life. And laugh all the way down to the bank. But us, we still have to introduce our special guest, Brandon, the anime guy. How are you doing, buddy? Gentlemen, I am doing most excellent indeed. Dermy, it was it was good to have you on the other week. I wish you could have stuck around yeah. a little longer because we showed all sorts of good anime and a lot of degenerate shit. <laughs> but that's just how it goes. Good to meet you, Devil May Do It. Adam, it's good to see you again. X Cloud, it's good to finally meet you. I've you know, see you around the, the Twatterverse every now and then. And Adam, good to meet you too. And I have to say, I am a Packer backer. Yes! Although I I haven't been a NFL backer for ten plus years because the NFL has become the uh, the no fun league, the bitch made league, the fuck uh, what's his face league. Yeah, let's let's just put the flags on them, throw the tutus on them, and say I feel like chicken tonight, and just call it good. And I absolutely adore the X Men arcade. Oh yes, this is my Christmas present to myself last year. It is such a good game. That's back when game companies knew 
what to do, knew yes. what their audience wanted, knew how to make money instead of being the little, you know, tofu fart and cry baby shit bags that they are now. So <laughs> agree. So, yes. so you, you, you are now my new brother there, anime guy. Thank you very much. And great meeting well, thank you. you. It's, it's good to be here. And yeah, I love talking anime. I like talking gaming vastly versed in all sorts of other things that I don't cover on my channel because eh, I'm, I'm tr I try to keep it positive and fun. But every now and then I'm forced to do something like put the smack down on that bastard Matt Walsh. I can't stand his his stupid ass. You know, with with friends like that, who needs uh, who needs enemies? Yeah. And that's and even with all the stuff that's happened since, that's that's still my stance on it. And for that matter, uh, the same with uh, the the Daily Wire. They're they're bitch made. Yeah. Griffin. No, I don't like Bible. Well, you know that's another story. <laughs> I mean, Bible <laughs> too bad we can't fun. show that. Yeah, Bible of course, I like Bible fun. Black. It has chicks with dicks in it. <laughs> I was, was oh, going to say, in certain you're settings, not, you're not going to escape that. Gonna no, no. Jeremy's favorite oh. anime is Boko no Pico. No, God, fuck no. I, I No, <laughs> no. But uh, this stream element makes it hard. I'm just going to say that. But uh, Adam with glasses and STDs just tipped $5. <laughs> Which one? Uh... <laughs> Did you just imply we both have STDs, Adam? <laughs> well, I mean, I, don't I mean, know you're what both you wearing do. glasses and you both have STDs, apparently. So uh, I've got dermates. I've got. Dermies. Uh, I don't have yeah. STDs. I have STUD. Shut the fuck up, dermies. But uh, it'll say. Know, that was a big I'll give dunks. you some hints. I'm the one sitting in a chair and talking into a black microphone. There's a screen <laughs> on it. There's a screen on in my background. There's okay. A, Still there's not narrowing also, it down. <laughs> there's also two S's in my Streamlabs username. So I guess you're both the answer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, I know this. This is Bible Black. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep, you, yep, yeah yep, be, yep. be careful. There we go. Be careful. Don't start. Is it is it bad that I was able to name that right away? <laughs> In a way, but that's all right. And yes, I've yeah we yeah. I know the limits. I oh. I push the limits. I like to push the limits on my channel. But uh, oh, that was you. I thought Dermy had randomly typed it. No, in. No, that wasn't scrolling. me. But okay. I my their limits are well. Just I'm here for the ride. That my channel exists. And speaking of people that are here for the ride, Shaka Zulu, how are you doing? What's up, guys? I'm good. I'm just watching the beautiful Stellar Blade demo being played. I, I'm just gonna wait for the full game. I never like playing demos. I, 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 I want, I want that feeling Shock's of starting. Shock's over here, game. deep breathing. Shock's over here. Yeah, Shock. Uh, you know I have you're not. Some clips though. Come to PC, damn it! Fuck you, Sony. I mean, look at exactly. this. You know Dermy's rule. Only he's allowed to have his hand on his penis during the show. <laughs> I mean, wait, here, 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 share my screen. Share my screen. I mean, one this, handed this at is the great already. Oh. I mean, I, I, I'll be happy to play this in a month. Oh yes, that's what everybody it. wants. It's, look at, look at that. Look at that. It's so good, bro. That is glorious. Tachi yes, is waifu, bro. The fucking side character is everyone's favorite character. It's not even the main character. <laughs> that is Tachi's glorious. waifu, bro. In, yeah, in this needs time. to get over to PC right away. Fuck Sony and the PlayStation Five. That's oh, all I'll say about that. I'm very so. happy. I think so. Literally, literally thirty days from now. Thirty it's days be from like now. six yes. months. So, thirty least. days. It won't be a whole year. I learned this. Thirty-one days. I learned this from a black pillar, somebody that just would not accept that Stellar Blade is a win for Sony. Oh my god! But apparently, it was originally planned to come out on all platforms, but Sony commandeered it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like, surprising. You know, yeah, I'm I'm kind of like, you know what? Sony got a win there cuz I kind of want to play this game. Oh. It's it's going to do better on PC because like 4 seconds after it's out, it's going to have a mod, yeah, where she's butt oh, naked. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean there's always that skin but color. But here's too. the thing. I don't need that distracting me until I'm done with the game. I I'll, I'll be long done with the game by the time that happens, then yes, bring it on. So then I, I'll I got to be real. I got to be real honest. <laughs> the second playthrough Adam's going to abuse himself every Oh day god. <laughs> I don't think I can make it through I, the first place. I, uh, I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I plead well. the fifth. I mean, oh, Shock man. was there through most of my playthrough of uh, Final Fantasy. I barely made it through that every time Tifa came on. 
That was like, yeah, I know, right? That was like the only thing that made that game great. All the characters were beautiful. And I yeah. will forever love it that that is a real woman's body right there. Oh, I know. All of them. All the all yeah. the girls are real Shin, models. Shin Jai Un, that, that woman has a, a, a body crafted by the gods. And <laughs> yeah. there it is right as, there. That, as that is Dermy's real. playing it on uh, oh, man. freaking uh, Saturday Night Mayhem, he keeps turning off his camera and you hear something and he's all like, I got a crimp, guys. Another one. Those would be <laughs> those would be the shortest Saturday night ch Saturday charities in history. But <laughs> those would be the nah, shortest. Just more, I, I was Saturday just going to say more more breaks than usual yeah he'll this, this, this go you know and then Jeremy's like okay i'm back it's basically <laughs> metal gear no, rising and if people think like oh they're just pretending to like the game it's like people unironically loved metal gear rising people are listen, also gonna unironically love fucking stellar blade listen here i'm gonna pull this down then we'll pull this back up but uh this is gonna down, be me baby. playing stellar blade oh god yeah, thanks oh, for that. God. God. The, yeah, the gross the gross thing is when when uh, Dermy climaxes, he giggles. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Because oh, you've done it before on my God. stream, you pervert. I have not. I know it's what like you did when you were out giggling. Of the pub. Was that always yeah. real like quick? More? Damn it, Dermy, get your hand. Extra zero for five dollars. Well, four ninety nine, but I'll round you up. I'll, I'll cover that penny. Uh, Devil is gonna get a full back taco of B Arth. Wait. You see full back. B Arthur? Yep, B Arthur. Girlfriend oh, freaking back, uh, back tattoo. Girls? No, no, no. Back tattoo, you goddamn <laughs> fuck. illiterate fuck. Oh, yeah, I am a little <laughs> um, illiterate. I'm going to uh, get B Arthur on back my back. back. Uh, uh, B Arthur as a muscle mommy giving birth to <laughs> little Ben Shapiro with a caption Thank you for being a friend. You, you've never even heard the fucking <laughs> song, have you? Jeremy, do you even understand? I have it? heard the song. No, you, okay, all right. At least you understand the joke. Do you understand the context for any of those things that was mentioned in that super chat? That all came out like 30 years before he was even fucking. I know. Thank you for being mommy. a friend. He understands. Okay. I know muscle mommy. mommy. I know. Thank you for being a friend. Don't understand little Ben Shapiro being birthed by B. Arthur, but okay. Oh, God damn it. B. Arthur is a muscle <laughs> mommy? Like, how do I even fucking explain that when people ask what the fuck's on my back? Like, that's like. You Way don't. too many levels of weird for me. It, is B. Arthur Jewish? Uh, it's <laughs> hold dead. on just one sec. I don't think she was, but let me let me take a look here. So B. Arthur, uh, B. Arthur, born Bernice Frankel. Frankel. I would say the odds are good. Yes. Yeah. Odds born are good. Okay. May 13, 1922. Died April 25th, 2009. American actress and comedian. She was first on with uh, All in the Family as uh, Edith's uh, cousin, I believe, Maud. And of course, uh, ended up Maud. as a golden girl. And uh, yeah, she, uh, uh, she was... Uh, uh, well, for the time, very... Uh, she, was, uh, she was a handsome woman. Yeah, very <laughs> handsome woman. Here, I, I'll, I'll share. As far as going you know, like the do Dolly Parton, I absolutely would with the her. But Ooh. yeah, she's she a handsome. Woman. All right, here, Ab here's Abby a photo Shapiro of her. handsome. Abby Shapiro. No, handsome? no, 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 no. She wasn't Abby Shapiro handsome. So <laughs> from 1973. Oh. So I know that she was a, a major leftist activist type person, but then again, so is pretty much everybody in Holly Weird through most of their existence. That's how she looked back in 1943. United States Marine Corps identification photo. She was a Marine? No shit. I don't think she was a Marine, but let's see. Uh, she was married twice. First took place in 44, so her husband was uh, was a Marine. Yeah, she's wearing the Eagle Glo uh, Globe and Anchor on that fucking photo, though. Yeah, she's yeah. wearing shit. That's a fucking uniform. Where's she might Gal have been. Need her? Might have been in in the service during that time, but uh, as been. you can see, she was nominated a whole ton, won a few times. But uh, the big thing that she's really known for is mostly for mod, and then for. Uh, oh, hold on, my brain just died. What was the show? The Golden Girls. Golden Girls. Yeah, yeah, Golden Girls. <clears throat> okay. Dorothea. She had that name? that. Deeper, raspy, raspy ish type voice. But there she is throughout the years. Oh, God. Age was not so, kind on her. Imagine having yeah. this version 
as the oh. muscle mommy giving birth oh, like to little idea. Ben Shapiro. I like this idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. And I would laugh my ass off all the way to the bank. I I would if I wasn't taking a trip down to Oklahoma City and down to New Orleans and and back over into the Texas in April. I think I would find a way to to super chat a thousand dollars to make it happen because that's probably I, the amount of money it would take to make that tattoo happen. I don't oh, know. It would take so much more. Like I'm I, talking no, about I, house money. I want to. I want to crowdfund this shit. Let's crowdfund <laughs> this. I want. I want Devil to Muscled have this up. tattoo. I'm not doing it. I want you. To yeah, have she it. she was a good actress. It's yeah. you know she just. Little a little off kilter compared to her other contemporaries, like uh, well, like uh, no oh, crap, yeah. Uh, my my brain just died again. Who uh, who? Oh. The other golden girl, the one that died recently. I can't. Uh, no, Betty no. White. Betty, White. Betty White. Yes, uh, Betty White. Rose. They were both off Rose. kilter, but Betty White was. Uh, even though Did she played the more reserved person. Mm -hmm. She was, you want to talk about, uh, you know, uh, the freak in the sheet type person. That was Betty White. <laughs> that's just the, that's just the way she was. She wasn't afraid to speak her mind, wasn't afraid of anything. And that's why I think she was so beloved by, by people. She never gave up. She was on SNL and still doing all kinds of acting bits all over the place. Like it laid into her nineties. Yep. She never quit. Ooh, I like this idea. I like this idea. Kratos of Kratos says we'll crowdfund it. Then everyone that gives a hundred dollars <laughs> to the crowdfund gets to add something to the text. Oh my god, she oh was the computer from Futurama. <laughs> yes, she oh, was the fem Holy Holy shit. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I am the femputer. <laughs> well, and all she needed was just a little a bit of she just needed a little bit of D from Bender. I'm Bender, baby. Oh. God. I, I never you know, even I realized that, but as soon That's as you said me, that, Phil. I heard that voice in my head, and I absolutely <laughs> uh, uh, so wow, that never That's occurred. Crazy. To me. Yeah, yeah, she did you all know, sorts of fun shit. That the moment you said so that, good. I can agree. She was probably a handsome woman. Yeah. Oh yeah. I able didn't, to, I didn't know that it was actually yeah. a woman's voice. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not know Finn Pewter was actually a woman's voice. Really? I was a man well, doing I like a 70 year old woman, but. All right, hold on, hold on one sec. I'll find, I'll uh, find it. Real quick, let me get these. Uh, Five dollars from Anime Girl says, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> she says, fuck, fuck, fuck you? No. Oh, did you okay, get my cock mind. super chat? I will get there, Shock, but I have to uh, finish Anime Girl. We're, we're excited. She said, Sorry. She says, Goo woo. Oh, no. And I, ya, I, ya, I, ya. That means she's uh, completed her task. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, Shock's cock for $5. <laughs> What's up, boy? Shock? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't Shock's... know it talked. Yeah, he Shock's does. Cocks. He doesn't Cox, like Israel. In plural. We're standing at full attention after having watched that Stellar Blade clip. Yes. We're ready for action. Let's spread some liberty, boys. Tension. That's right. For... You got to spread that freedom all around and, mm. and into the hair. And here, here's your femputer <laughs> and death by uh, snow snow. Best episode ever. After lengthy femputations, I, femputer, have decided the fate of the men. Femputer sentences them. To death! <laughs> By Snoo Snoo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woody. Hey! <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. Captain Death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Why OG okay. Futurama was, was just perfect. It really yeah. was. Why the hell does fucking Shock get to be uh, Shock's dick and I have to deal with my yeah. asshole? Yeah. I don't know. I'm don't sure know. I'll get there. I, no, I, no, mine was Shock's Shock cockle dong. <laughs> Shock has to deal with with multiple cocks, so you can figure that out. But um, mm. Devil, you just have a asshole that has a Funko Pop of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Hitler's torture. <laughs> I'm not as uh, loose as Devil. Maybe that's why. 
Ow. The soldier spirit wanted to say something. What do you want to say, Adam? I, I've actually want to talk to people about this. We're talking about Futurama. Uh, does anybody realize like how dystopian that future actually is? Oh, yeah. It's a one world yeah. government, one mm-hmm. world religion. You are forced into labor or you're shot into the sun, meaning you are killed if you yeah. don't perform the labor that you are forced to have to do. It is a dystopian fucking future that like Alex Jones would jizz over. <laughs> It's Disney Canada. creates amusement park on the moon and like rewrites history, which Ooh. we're kind of almost there. Started, we're just not on the moon yet. <laughs> Blue gender was a weird one. This one. I started yeah. watching it. I didn't get through through it. Wasn't this yep. battling bugs? Well, sort of. I, could, I don't remember. But like I yeah. watched maybe one or two episodes and then I fell off because it was just too slow at the beginning. Well, so that was it, back it, before it, I got the, to where the I am dude has a really long uh arc to where he gets to be actually not a pussy. Real quick, speaking of anime, I started watching Delicious in Dungeon. And I so real quick, I like how happy go lucky it is. My biggest problem is at the beginning the mild spoilers, but it's like right at the beginning of the series, dude's sister gets eaten by a dragon. He's just like she got ate by a dragon. And doesn't even like react. He's in shock. Oh. Get through the get through the first twelve. You'll you'll thank me. Just do it. Just okay, do I'll it. get through the first twelve. The, it, it, the react his reaction is what bothers me right now. Is like, would you, would you do that? Well, you as I said, there's uh, uh I really don't want to give it away because I have seen the first half I, of the season. And there is there is payoffs, so just stick with it. Just stick with okay. it. Okay, I just got done with them battling the uh, ghosts. Okay, so you're you're pretty close. You're pretty close to where we need to be. And okay. uh, I I do wanna I do wanna do just one thing. I want to say thank you to all the indie developers out there who aren't bowing down and sucking the cock of ESG DIE and making some really cool shit. Uh, I did an interview this past Tuesday with uh, with Roz Gaming, who is doing a let's say a a love story or a love ode to virtua racer and it looks glorious and fantastic if you haven't looked him up look him up on twitter and then go wish list it because it's about to he's about to do the demo he's about ready for it he'll have it in early access and it looks it just looks fun as hell and it's going to be fast it's designed to if you have the high refresh rate monitor you will take advantage of it but uh, there's one other that I that I found that he uh, tagged. It's called Missile Dancer 2. And it's been released on the Switch and on Steam. And if we can share this real quick, I'll play it for you. Yeah. Because well, it uh, looks awesome. <laughs> So if you like the old school, you know, Sega Star type Fox. of game, it looks a yeah, Star, Star Fox, Fox uh, Afterburn, there you go. That looks fun. That was cool. Yeah, there's a whole ton of stuff like this that's out there. He's not asking for a ton of money, so you know, thirteen fifty USD. I think that's well worth the price. Yeah. So, when is this one coming out? Uh, let's see. Let me pop it up here in the Steam store. Uh, he's got a demo, and it looks like it is out. Introductory offer ends April third, and you can get uh, the game with the soundtrack for nineteen forty two, or just the game for thirteen forty nine. And, well, it's uh, on Switch. I might, I might buy that just for my flight to Vegas because I have a two yeah. hour flight ahead of me. But yeah, if you got a Switch, put it on there. If you got a Steam Deck, throw it on there. It, you know, it's not, uh, it's not going to be a demanding game. And actually, let me see here. Recommends. 2 gigahertz processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 1280 by 720. So perfect for a handheld. Hence why it's on the Switch, because that's Switch specs, yeah. basically. Yeah. But I will probably we need to get the great entire for library library of the Doom series on the way to and from Vegas. Well, you have like a fucking driving. Yeah, you have a you have a long ass drive ahead of you. Uh-huh. I have a two hour flight. I was, I was planning on, on listening to just the first book. I'm like, oh wait, I have way more time than to just listen to the first book. <laughs> Let's say Vegas is only nine hours from where I'm at, but yeah, I said if I wasn't going to the other places, I, I would go to Vegas. But 
we still need to get into our first topic of the night. So Adam, <laughs> Renaissance shirt Adam, the, the Jewish one, told me about this. Lizzo says she quits, tired of being dragged by public, didn't sign up for this shit. Well, being yeah, a public fucking figure? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, did. I'm fat, and everybody makes fun of me for being fat. And right away, New York Post gives us the uh, one of the absolute oh, worst God. pictures to have to deal with, but Lizzo but, says she is. What? Go ahead. She she did sign up for it because if she just came out and was all like, "I'm you know just be talented," no one would say shit. She's the one who came mm -hmm. out and decided I'm going to be a body positive mm -hmm. uh, activist and tell everyone that let your children become fat little blobs and they'll be happy. Trust I me. I don't think that's who she's talking about. My God, she's only thirty five. Oh. Talking yeah. about when she did that um that uh charity event and the pro-palestine people heckled her in new york when she was ah. with the Clinton foundation <laughs> well they have it everybody. here let me show you yeah well here let me yeah, when they were screaming when they were fans. screaming for her to cover up the you you american yeah. hoe, uh she's all you know how much fabric that would take <laughs> <laughs> my favorite lizzo moment bro is she legit record herself burning a DiGiorno pizza like to cure a crisp black crisp and she's like, Mama did raid no cheap steak. I ain't gonna waste no money. I'ma eat this shit. And she recorded herself uh, eating. Well, pizza. that explains the figure that she has. You can uh, just buy another fucking pizza, bitch. You don't have to eat the <laughs> first one. <laughs> I mean, I would, but uh, Lizzo says she is quitting seemingly the music industry months after her former backup dancer accused her of sexual harassment body shaming and creating a hostile work environment in a lawsuit <laughs> the 35 oh, yeah, year old cool. truth hurts singer posted a statement to her instagram on friday telling her 12.1 million followers motherfucker how she's just a fat hoe Yep. I'm yep. getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. All oh, I boo want is to... hey, oh, boo hoo. Oh, guys, boo guys, boo. guys, being fat is fucking exhausting. She's the <laughs> one that chose it. Um, All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. Well, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did she realize oh. what she just said? I, oh my god, no, get off that. Uh, leaving the world better how you found it is before you got here. So, you leaving makes it mm -hmm. better, it makes it how you found it. The world was okay, great. I'm gonna, scroll, it. I'm gonna scroll past this as fast as humanly possible. Oh, Please, still oh, sucks too much. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I about lost my lunch there. <laughs> I lost all, all the fun stuff, but uh. I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views, but the butt butt of the jokes every single time because well, your of ass how is I look. <laughs> My character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name. Okay, okay. Oh. We're talking about a fat, wrinkled land whale that climbed the steps on a plane and made everybody look at her dimpled ass. Yep. You know, I made you guys look at my ass, but it was as a joke. She blatantly does it on purpose. Is she Every the one that day. did hose in this house? I don't know. No, that no, was Cardi that, B. Uh, that aren't Cardi they B the same Megan person? The <laughs> no, uh, Cardi Stallion. B's thinner. Same with Megan the Stallion. They're still overweight. But Cardi B is the one who used to be a stripper and admitted to, like, uh, roofing people that she was entertaining and taking their money so there's no difference it? between any oh, of those shit. hoes okay no, got there's it. no difference they're, they're, they're all no, disgusting they're, individuals i all disgusting parties had the multiple assaults <laughs> the, the only difference is lizzo is the size of a planet but cardi <laughs> lizzo B's, only assaults your cardi eyes B's, not your body uh, cardi b's <laughs> privates can open up to fit a size of a planet so so in other words instead of obi-wan saying that's the moon he's gonna say that's no death star <laughs> yeah. no that's the brown star uh, the black hole yeah, we were so <sighs> funny that devil had us drop out we're, we're too funny for the devil uh, all i can say I now stick. is is suge knight's given the warning to diddy because of him being supposedly what uh people are thinking i find that absolutely hilarious but I, i'm oh, sorry I, I i digress 
listen, listen. I'm still <laughs> I I'm gonna champion this joke that I made on Tuesday. P. Diddy's running around and he's gonna write a book and it's gonna be called If I Diddied It. <laughs> <laughs> that may I'm have been one of the most clever one. jokes you ever told to me. <laughs> I am I bet he stole it. One. He stole no, it. No, no, I came up with it originally. What happened was Devil showed a video of uh P. Diddy and a Bronco, you know, running from the police. And I was like, here's the moment. I had to do it. Uh, the four-time Grammy winner, oh, my God, whose unapologetic body positive messaging helped her star fat. rise, concluded, I didn't sign up for this shit. I quit. You didn't sign up. You forced her on a fucking face. Yeah. I mean, seriously. It did, all this stuff oh, makes God. the world a better place. Uh, There's uh, no good uh, picture. What are you doing? No, there is no good uh, picture. There is no Stop good sharing. picture of all her folds and her and her dimples and her. Yeah. All right. At least we, they don't have the one of her on stage with her legs spread wide. The fuck we, open. We do oh, that was. I that don't was have awful. any tonight. I have no palate cleanser tonight. I'm sorry. I've got uh, one. I've got one for you here. Here you go. We, we here, got here's a palate cleanser. From... So take your pick. Oh, uh, oh shit! This well, is gonna be hard. Ooh, oh, this is fear. One. I saw the purple one. Yep. I'm in the middle of watching fear. Hinata. Oh, there's an elf, but she has no titties. But that's Firin. That, that's yep, the that, main character. That's Firin, yep. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like we're, we're playing trap or not again. I, here's, the, here's the problem, though. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm two-thirds of the way through. They're covered most of the time. Where do they get these proportions from? They're all this, covered uh, most of the time. Well, the person that, that did this is at Proto underscore JP. I want to say either he either, he's the one that originally posted this. I want to say this is either his interpretation based upon what is presented, or mm-hmm. this is AI. But I want to say the I want to say the first. The but only... looking, Go look ahead, looking at the proportions versus the clothes they have, I do think this is a an accurate representation of all of them. The only thing mm-hmm. that I'll say is when I posted this and I had the shit ton of responses, it scared me how many people picked five. Uh, I just met well, her I know on nothing the show. About five, I just listen, met her in the she, show, and I know she's. I already know she's crazy. Oh, it's so listen, much worse than crazy. Uh, listen, here's the, I mean, here's the thing. Five. Also, uh, well, Jeremy, shut up for a second. I'm actually watching the show. Okay. Um, here's the thing. Uh, like I said, I'm two thirds way through it. Uh, looking at this right now, only ones I can say look accurate are maybe Fern and Fear, and those are the only ones that are, look remotely accurate to me. I the rest of them, I. On, with the clothes they're wearing, I honestly cannot tell. So it's close. As a guy who's not hasn't watched it, but is planning to watch it maybe here in a, like a few days, five looks very inviting. But I know I'm gonna be by the end of it, I'm gonna be able to taste rainbows and everything like that in all sorts of different ways. Um, I can I'm more attracted between three and four, honestly, though. They, Dude, five is look, gal. Five, uh, no. No, so that's no. that green hair anti liberal right there. No, yes, it is. No. No, no, it no, it is. No, no, no. She no. five, five year. Uh, I mean, they, she, doing... let's just say five's your future ex wife that wants to cut you in so many mm-hmm. ways. Listen, yeah, three and four look like end game <clears throat> characters. You know, they look very nice, lovingly, mm-hmm. like they're gonna feed you every all the time. Same with six and seven, but I mean, three and five, three, three and four have a. Have better assets, let's just say. Yeah. And then there's Freyrin <laughs> and Fern. And the funny part is the only one out of all these that is absolutely uh, for sure uh, proper uh, 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 MILF territory age is Freyrin, and Fern. she's a thousand yeah, years Fern. old. Yeah. <laughs> Pl- over. I think well, that's El- over. L- listen, that's elf. Yeah. A- that, that, that's by elf e- years. And no, it's not like by elf years. No, it's, it's not even elf years. She, she just. She was her full size when she was like a hundred well, or two hundred. So yeah. my, I've had the show like the the premise of the show told to me by my one of my good buddies, Silver. He's been on the show a few times. He said the premise is essentially that Feyren, that the elf girl is going around trying to collect all of her ma- former master's spells. No, 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 no not at all. That is, no, I think no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, Brandon, you finished the show, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm on. I think I'm on episode 18 right now or 17. They're, they just started the magic exam in Arverse. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, without spoiling, no, it's it's basically it, it's a very slow show. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not a bad show. I, I <laughs> right now, I don't know how, and and this might start a weave fight between Brandon and I because I know Brandon. You when I mentioned it uh, a few weeks ago, you said yes, you're going to enjoy it. It's good. Uh, I, I'm enjoying it, but. I don't know how people are ranking it over Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood as something right because I heard that people were doing that. I'm like, I don't see yeah, that. Yeah, it is. It is I higher than Full Metal Alchemist. People are ranking I, higher. I don't see. I don't see that right now. I do not see that because uh, most of these characters, while they're good, I'm still struggling to care about them. 18 episodes in, and I'm having trouble. It's it's. it's... Crimson. It's a strange thing because that's typically the opposite. At least it's been the opposite with me. They mm. put more than enough time into each of the characters that they come across to win. No, they have no, I'm not saying they're developed. Yeah. I'm just having trouble caring about them. I don't yeah. care because uh, there's nothing <laughs> and there, there's nothing epic about this show, in my opinion. There's nothing epic about it. It's just oh, kind of slowly I, moving from one little adventure to another, giving a lot of great character development, a lot of great storytelling, but it's just kind of hum drumming along. I'm going to be willing to bet that these are uh, Brandon's fans coming in chat right now. And all I'm going to say is uh, I'm no longer <laughs> friends with Clifton and uh, Crimson. I don't think you're ever going to oh, Anybody Crimson. that hates Full Metal I will, I will, I will drop the weed hammer on you for saying that. If you're saying Fearing is better than, than, full, than FMB, uh-uh. uh-uh. Well, here's, here's my no. conundrum. No. I have never seen either of the FMAs. So I can't in in good conscience, That's 100% say it. But my favorite OVA series of all time is Helsing Ultimate. That is the oh, gee, singular think, no. best, bloodiest massacre <laughs> oh, of is. anything oh. I've ever seen. Yeah. This is right there with it. I absolutely adore Freyrin. It's and it's because it is, it is because it is so different. There has not been any other show that I'm aware of that has taken the concept of a fantasy world where the good guys defeat the big bad, in this case, the Demon King, and show the consequences of what they've done. This does that. And that is why I think it has been so captivating and why it has done so well, especially is, in Japan. Is consequences the, consequences the right word, at least at this point where I am? I don't feel like consequences part, is the right word. Part of it, I yeah. Say, I, would, I would just feel like aftermath. I would say aftermath. Better... We do have con- we have both consequences, aftermath, and then reflections. We have all three of those things in there, and I, I believe this is just my own thought process. The eventual place that they're going to end up at, as they've, as she, as Freyrin has said, is a land of the dead where they can, when they reach it, they can talk to a person that has passed on. There's a thought process that she was going to talk to her master. Because mm-hmm. that was the person that trained her with magic and mm-hmm. is I the just, founder of magic for the humans, who's been dead for almost a thousand, you know, for nine hundred years or something, some ridiculous number like that. I don't think she's going oh, so to wait, talk to her. They don't get there at the end of the season. There's going to be season two. Yeah, the where you're at now, the arc mm-hmm. ends with this season. There's okay. roughly four and a half volumes of manga that that, that is ahead okay. right now, and by the time that they get to the second season and get it and get it done. They'll be up with the manga to Brown, uh, roughly volume 12. And volume 11, okay. I think, is coming out here pretty soon. So having 28 episodes is unusual for a singular season. Consider It's it's like three episodes longer than normal. So, yeah. Well, even at that, I'm, most anime seasons are only 12 well, the, these days. I, so. Well, I would say this is yeah, still, they're, they're most still fits in the normal thing where it's, they, they, they split it into two parts. I mean... They yeah. decided to go a, a standard original 24 season because or usually if they date things do get full 24 seasons, but they usually split it and you have to wait uh, basically three months before you get part two. For example, Jobless Reincarnation. Yeah, uh, that was they split that up or and I'm sure I'm sure they're going to split up reincarnating the slime this season two. Yeah. And then but they other split up uh, Record of Ragnarok season two and yeah. one of the stupid ways possible. They did two fights and then save the last fight for later. It, it, which was just three episodes, so that that was pathetic. But all I'm gonna say is a guy who hasn't watched Feyren yet, but has watched both Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. There's a famous fight on this channel of both me and Adam going at it about over. Can you slot in Full Metal Alchemist into Brotherhood? I still say yes. Um, I won. 
Shut up. Pat, ch- panel and chat said I won. Shut up. We're we're not talking about that right now. It is. That's a fucking high bar to say that this is better. Well, he, he's, he, that. That, he's that's he, a he, massive. He's throwing bar. out the word Sims, but man, he wants to pick a fight right now. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the bait. All I'm gonna say is uh, <laughs> when I finish, either. I'm gonna be finishing the show probably in the next two or three days. So I'm averaging two or three episodes a night. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll be able to at least, uh, considering Brandon is telling me it's not done, one cannot say, therefore, a definitive answer. But at this point, in terms of, I know this is a, uh, and throwing out the terms journey, reflection, this and that, if that's your deal, fine. But right now, in terms of character developments or endearing characters, this and that, uh, this has not reached the level of endearing characters, or in my my opinion, truly memorable characters. I mean, Firin is a good character, but by comparison to the heroes and antagonists, uh, here's also the problem: we get no. Uh, to my in my opinion, even though we've gotten a couple of them, even though like Firin versus what was her name, the chip of the scales. Um, Oh, the, yeah, the, the demon. demon with the scales. Yeah. I mean, I will give the show this. Their take on demons is an interesting take. Mm-hmm. How uh, I, I do, I, I appreciate uh, the interpretation of what a demon is that and, and how they don't. And I'm trying not to spoil things for Jeremy. How they basically are mimics <laughs> and they have no <coughs> compassion. There is no empathy. It's all fake. It's an interesting take. And I appreciate the fact that they're clearly not trying to make you emphasize with all sides like nope they're bad and they deserve to get wiped out and i yeah. appreciate real, real, that real quick uh devil are we boring you no okay <laughs> i'm watching that all i'm gonna say is uh clifton clifton i, I i'm seeing you trying to bait me there boy i'll remember, I'll remember yeah i mean this final is the fantasy. scene this is the scene I, I'll, I'll remember you for final fantasy and uh devastator I would say watch Brotherhood. Listen, I, I that think one's the you closer fit, to the manga. It, it yeah, I, it's I think you can fit ninety five percent. It's an argument. It does ninety five percent accurate. You can get the other five from the beginning of FMA. So yeah, so here's you know, here's the it. clip with uh, with Freya and telling Aura to kill herself or to or to sideways herself. So she has a spell within her repertoire where. The balance of scales. Whoever's mana is more powerful gets to tell the other one what to do. She is so the demons have a have an overconfidence. It's part of their part, society, is what. It yeah, is. it's part of their society. It's part of what they are and how they are. That uh, they don't consider Freyrin a threat because she does something that most mages don't, and that's what makes Freyrin so dangerous. <laughs> So she's lived for 500, whereas Freyrin's lived for 1,000, and she's been practicing this skill for, you know, 800 plus years. When she lets her mana power actually flow, you can see what it did. There's, there's a whole lot of other things that lead up to this and it'll make more sense when you watch it yep and um but it it's a great it's a it's a really good scene but because of the build-up there's zero surprise when it happens <laughs> it's just oh here we go here's the here, here is the what we've been waiting for and there it is and uh i again i'm not shitting on the show i'm just saying i don't it hasn't lived up to the hype for me at this point it hasn't lived up to the hype that people are going crazy over for when it was going on i avoided all possible spoilers because as i've been saying i wait till seasons well, are done now and i knew there's going to be 28 episodes so i was waiting until a couple weeks ago to get it started look at it and just for me right now it hasn't lived up to the hype it's not bad but it hasn't what, lived up to the hype of seeing people saying well oh, it's better say, than fmp it's better than all these great things what i will say for anime fans and i think this is a fair take there's a point in time where i thought Attack on Titan was going to be better than FMB. I never. Now I think that. it's. I I thought there was a good chance. I like the world building. I like the things that they were doing. Even even when the time skip happened, I was liking where it was going. Like some of the things they were doing, I thought they had a chance. Uh, I think full uh, Attack on Titan now is utter dog water and deserves to be thrown to the wayside. 
I, let me finish the point I was yeah, making though. First season's the only one that's really that good. It's it's, it's hard. I I I, I want to kind of stop on the at least my point on this conversation because Freerin is complete, mm-hmm. and you're comparing something that has been completed for with FMB from the manga to then to the, when they when they decided to go with the anime. It's been done for like a decade now. It's been yeah, done. long time. And it's a complete thing. It's in it. It's in its own place, and something cannot be fully judged and compared until both products are done. So yeah. something has to stick the landing because Jeremy just said it. And if, if you're a fan of Attack on Titan, great for you. But it dropped the it dropped the ball at the end yeah. completely. If you're a fan of Attack on Titan, I'm happy for you. I'm gonna think you're retarded. So <laughs> the thing I- is. You have yeah. to understand, and I'll let you go to say, Brendan. I, I will compare these. I, I will be happy to debate anybody when Freerin is completed, whether or not it's better overall than FMB. But until then, right now, it's not living up to the hype for me. Okay. But I'm, I'm still, oh. not, I'm still having an okay time watching it. Okay, okay. Now I know Clifton's okay. just over Clifton's here trying to troll. troll. Okay, I, <laughs> I, I see what you're doing, boy. I see you. I remember this shit. Ooh. Hang on, bring up Carl Carlson. Uh, Carl Carlson? That one. That was a crazy ass show that was actually really damn good. Cobinary? I started Iron watching Forges. that. I that, even... that show I need... was. I need to watch we were it talking again, about. Just... We were talking about last night, Derwin. We were talking about mm-hmm. Zom 100. Z- uh, Iron Fortress. Man, that thing just leans into over the top and it works. But it's over the top. From what I remember, that was over the top drama. Whereas yes, but they leave what, what I'm saying is over the top comedy. What I'm saying, but well, I'm just I'm talking about the concept we were talking about tonight, leaning yeah. into the over leaning into something. And if you're gonna go go full ham, if you're gonna go over the top, do it. It leans over the top into its sort of zombie apocalypse type shit, and it freaking works. Yeah, I can agree. It was, a good and, ride. Uh, it was literally a good ride on that train. <laughs> Devastator <laughs> says, Dermy, when you're done, you can pull your knife out of my back. Put but what? All right, wow. wait, bring up Crimson Law there. Crimson Law, did you read Attack on Titan in the manga? Because the ending you got in the anime, they cowards. They changed it because of the backlash from the manga. Yeah, and for a lot of people who watched Attack on Titan, uh, here, here's a fun little thing. Uh, you have to watch all the way through the credits of the final episode to get what actually happens because they ha- they heavily, heavily, heavily imply that it was all for nothing and everything that just happened was... The most nihilist scene I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Yikes. Makes so me glad I didn't watch it. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's a massive mm. letdown. That there. first season was so hyped, though, man. Like, I just, uh, everything I, up to the time skip is working. Uh, yeah. They time skip it so and hope. Oh. Let's just change the whole story. Let's just change all the characters. It got a lot of people into anime, dude. Like a lot. Listen, mm-hmm. Devastator. If you like it, great. Yeah, if you like it, it's I'm great. I think you're retarded. But I, I will weeb fight you <laughs> of how bad it is. I will, I, I will, I, I will I, throw down. Adam, yeah, Adam, have. and I don't agree on a whole lot all the freaking time. This is one of the moments where we are united. It is dog water. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no interest in in watching. I watched the first episode. And I'm like, no, I, I can't handle that type of show. So, but to this this particular little clip right here spawned. So many memes. So many memes. <laughs> Only feet. Oh, this. <laughs> oh, you cocks. <laughs> and the Anya smile. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Well, I guess that's a um, spy family thing. I'm not a big fan of spy family. So. I love spy family, but uh, I like it too. Yeah. So, he, so Stark's 18th birthday. She's Fern's wanting to know what to get him for, for her birthday. So she asks Freyren, and Freyren's just kicking her feet, doing her thing. And yeah, this this little scene right here, just this few two three second little thing, had all the blue haired Landwell brigades uh, going re because really? you know how I yes. Guess- this this, free, this, this this pissed them off. This isn't because... even this isn't even C level fan service. Exactly, Listen, can, they still went re. I I can see you know the well okay they they went re here. I might be able to find the uh oh the niche gamer article, but there was a bunch of uh blue haired individuals that freaked out over uh dungeon uh I just said it yeah delicious, delicious in dungeon, dungeon same thing that poster, the spread that of the elf poster, the spread of the elf where it's 
honestly not that bad. Oh, she's showing her ankles. She's showing her wrists. Oh, Lord. Or, I mean, yeah, that's how I mean, bad it is. They this show out over that. is the most, she's not asexual, but she's completely non-sexual. It's even part of the elfin culture in this in this world elves mm -hmm. are not sexual beasts that's why there's maybe three of them left in the so world. few of them yeah um in because so. they don't hit they don't have this they don't have an urge to be sexual that's easy because they, ha they have long lifespans and in so this one yeah. it's a little different because the, the elves in this world are a little different than your normal uh high fantasy elves they're mm. really detached from the world uh yeah and they they are yeah. although i find it funny that the one thing she has in her bag is a bottle of of uh stuff that when you put it on clothes it melts the clothes and mm. fern's like you degenerate old woman <laughs> why would you do that and then of course <laughs> she she opens it pours it on her and then she's just <laughs> i don't care about you anymore <laughs> they, don't even, they, don't even give, they don't even give you an ass shot there's like z there's zero fans yeah there's zero there is zero it this is as far as as far as the the sexuality and uh, the fan service side of this it doesn't have it yeah they they play it fairly well straight with this you know what would you be wearing at in a yeah. in a fantasy world like this exactly what they're wearing yeah there's so. a couple jokes about how freerin is jealous that fern has a pair of mountains on her chest yes and but, um, the, the latest one is where they're on the way to reverse in a cart. And she goes, I don't want to talk anymore. I'm going to go to sleep. And she drops in Fern's lap and starts looking up. And you, it's clearly she it's can't right see there. the sky anymore. It's a good show. Don't tell us. I don't want to lose anymore. I can only see half the sky. And from her angle, you see Fern's cans just completely blocking most of her <laughs> sight. I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's a subtle humor, but it's good. But there is zero fan service in this. And so, yeah, and what, it doesn't need it. It's, it's not this show wasn't no, no, designed not a fan for that. Show. No, yeah, well, it's like, no, except for the I, except for the feet. <laughs> I guess I don't understand feet. Everybody keeps saying, Well, it's because the nerve that represents feet is close to the pleasure center and everything like that. Yeah, no, I don't bullshit. get it. Either. It's, it's stupid. It's, it's total cocksucking bullshit that doesn't well, you make would know about cocksucking. sense. <laughs> I fought a whole guy this week. Wait a minute, dude. Dermy. Aren't we supposed to hate you because you suck dick? Apparently. Yeah. Huh? What? So We're okay, so... I, I don't. I don't. That like is to a talk retard. You bring I... that fool up. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it up. <laughs> I, Let's do it. I have questionable sexuality. I won't ever really like yes. full detail into it because it's not really it's that important. Dermy's a bit really queer. Sexuality. Yeah, it's not. Important. I am a bit. I'm a bit queer. That's wrong. Oh. I'm a bit queer. Oh. I don't think it's important. I don't think it's necessary. I don't give a shit. But there was yep. a whole guy that was going after Bug saying that he's homophobic. So I stepped in. It's like, hey, I'm technically not straight. First of all, first of all, Bug hates everybody equally. Okay. Yeah. Bug <laughs> Bug has a permanent anger towards everybody. He would he would yeah. hit any one of us with a shovel. Doesn't matter if we suck the Dude, like I played or, I played hell divers around. with him. Yeah. I played hell divers <laughs> with him for the first time, and all he did was kill me. When we first touched down, he promised he would. Oh, left, it's like playing with you. <laughs> no, Adam, Adam, Adam. This is like deliberate. He, this I got killed by him twice in sixty fucking seconds. Wow. No, those were accidents. You Jesus decided to run together. towards the boom booms <laughs> in a okay. bad time. Him, he. We touched down. He turns around, looks at me, goes like, "Okay, bang bang. Okay, we're all getting on the thing. Okay, bang bang." He, that he was delivered on his promise, Jeremy. Yes, he delivered on his every promises. single time. I mean, wow. you guys don't in, in our in our ball Buster chat room. He was going for a day. I'm going to shoot you when we get in the game. I'm going to shoot you when we get in the game. And apparently he did. <laughs> well, he did. He he posted the clip of him like throwing me off a cliff. Uh, he didn't post the other half of that where uh, he gets on the ship first. Kel's waiting for me. I take one look at him. And I just pop two right into bug and let him walk away without the extra XP. Wow. I, I was so <laughs> Sounds like he has I, uh, no chill and, and has only one one no. level and that's Bug uh, does only have yeah. one setting. It, it's it's yeah. shut the fuck up. That's Bugs. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Get out yeah. of his way. Love the dude death. If he's not interested, he's not interested. But he's yeah. he's like deep into hell divers. But somebody was going after him saying he's homophobic. I was like, you know what? I'll step in. And then I was called uh, I was basically said that I'm, I'm i'm surrounding myself with people that hate me blatantly and you know oh, the moment yeah, i see something nonsense. that they disagree well, with they're like it's like here's the thing is that guy thinks we're gonna hate him because you know he likes lady boys 
No, we hate him because he's a degenerate retard. That's what we hate about him. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's and Chuck's my Chuck, Chuck's my pimp, and I love him. He fucking came on my show, and he's like, "Hey, uh, so I have a boyfriend now, and we were just all pissed off that we can't pick on for being gay anymore, because now he's officially gay." <laughs> yeah, not fun anymore. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, it's just not fun anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll make truck stop jokes all day. What are you talking about? I mean, we'll still do it, but now he just fucking admits and gets even more going. It's yeah, funny when you're ashamed of it. It's yeah. funny when you're fun ashamed of it. Dermy. Yeah, it's, it's like truck stop, it. uh, truck, truck, truck stop jokes now. Truck I just jock. feel like, yeah, I've been drinking a bit. <laughs> truck truck, 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 He's thinking yeah, about truck, truck, truck jokes. Truck cock. Truck, 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 truck jokes. Whatever. I always truck, direct people, if you want to, if you want to, you know, segment some time or anything like that, talk my pimp, shock. That's right. Jeremy's making memes again because we finally hired some women here. I made, one, I made one meme today. <laughs> yeah, it came from the grave, dude. Yeah, I but of course, I'm going to make a comment because you don't <laughs> meme anymore. I came from the grave to make one meme because it's like, shit, they made this joke. And it's like, I... They, it, it, it they wrote sped right by it. Self. They just sped, they sped right, right by it. it but it, yeah. they, it wrote its fucking self. Oh, you totally kennels missed it, bro. Hit, it, you should have done kids and kennels. kennels. Kids and I should have done kids kids and kennels. <laughs> I love, I, my favorite thing was my idea was okay, it's all based around Ryan Kittle. Kennels, kids, kennels, KKK. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good cool idea. <laughs> thing is, you oh. kids what, kennel you club. You needed well, you needed a more current Ryan asset, not his old thing. That was a, I, I just googled a picture of Ryan because I have some fun Ryan assets, but I was like, I'm just throwing this together real quick, and I I, I didn't care. It lazy. It was like it lazy. It wasn't lazy. It was like you're lazy. One, but no, for some reason, when I was putting it together, it's like I do kind of want this older one because I feel like it fits more into like the white supremacist style of everything and everything like that, just because of how he looks. Maybe the beard would have fit a little bit better, like a more current thing. Maybe his actual app is like logo and stuff could have worked a little bit better but my whole thought process was going like i need to do this it's calling to me this is the first time this is the first time in a long time like i wait. felt the urge to meme wait you have a thought process when did this happen <laughs> when i when i get into that meme Break mode which is very rare now it's usually like thumbnails is where i'm doing my memes it's like okay what the fuck do i do i because uh, my memes have to come via the show. If there's no moment that like sparks that interest in me, I have to fucking meme. I'm not gonna meme. It has to spark that. And when I heard kennels, ken Ryan's uh, kennels or kids' kennels, it's like fuck the KKK. So it's writing so its fucking self. It did, yeah. So the other day, I had I had a friend. Uh, she's a bartender now, but the bar bar closes in this another place across the street that has fucking uh, 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 casino shit. You know, fucking uh, yeah. what are the what uh, what are they called? The and that case, is so they're, descriptive. They're, you know, when, <laughs> I, when I know he's using... a dial in whatever. So the uh, video coin slots. Yeah, slot machine, slot machine. Yeah. Uh, so I'm playing this one. It's all video one where it's like it's got like six. It's not the regular fucking three one, uh, but. I'm like, I don't know how the fuck this works because it just randomly makes these fucking zig lines. And then all of a sudden, I'm not joking. And she's sitting next to me and, she, and, and it goes, K, K, K. I'm like, hey, look, I won't K, K, K. She starts busting up laughing. Like she's not political, but then she even fucking throws up like a fucking Nazi salute. She is dying oh, fucking laughing at this. And then out of the corner of my eye, I realize I'm being stared at so hard. Oh, Three slot machines God. over is a fucking obvious lesbian couple. And oh. they were. <laughs> So mad. This is how they you know women get bullied. So mad. <laughs> they they oh, thought we were how... legit fucking KKK oh, fucking Nazis. Well, this is how you know. This is how you know it's all women that make all the problems because it's the oh, lesbian yeah. couple that's giving you the stare down, but the other yeah. girls like, yeah, <laughs> he's dying laughing. Yeah. Well, they bully the other girls into it. Most of these people are bullied into just accepting this yeah. shit. They yeah, probably spoke exactly. to her like you shouldn't do that stuff. Oh no, that uh, shit's washed away, Kratos. I'm no longer property of Gal. But you know, Clifton brings up a question. Hey, devil. What? Aren't you supposed to be defending me? <laughs> oh shit, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, please don't insult my master. 
You 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 yeah. fail at that over on Twitter a lot. I, you got, you got to remind me. Yeah. I, I never said I'd do it on Twitter. I said I'd do it on shows. No, you said you defend yes, me religiously. Shows. The, the contract said you defend me religiously no matter on what. On shows. I ain't going you on said, Twitter. Wait, didn't the lawyer did, did it, did it, fight with didn't you. Bradley say that there was a little gray area that you guys weren't? Yeah, Shut the fuck up, it. Jew. Quit bringing up the lawyer. <laughs> the contract says... <laughs> God damn it, that was the worst time to ever debate what was actually in the contract and everything it was when we had an actual we're drunk. On the we're, <laughs> we're drunk, drunk and we have a dr- we have, we're partial drunk. We have a drunk lawyer on the street. Oh, oh, shit. oh. that was a good one. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> I know it's too soon, but you know, if everything's gonna go to hell in the handbasket and we're all fucked to begin with, we might as well just Laugh while the yeah. whole thing just burns to the ground, and this is definitely fuck, that. Fuck the black pill, start the clown pill. Yep, bring out the clown pill. All right, <laughs> I, I got this. Um, I think Dermy, we have the, we have something. I think we you need to try. The Modern oh, art. I saw this shit. What the uh, fuck? fuck? <laughs> This is this is modern interpretive yeah, art. Yeah, yeah. This is. Wait, is this will, will you do this? No, no, is this like? No. Are these like real people? These are people. Oh, I made the joke about you doing this, and it went over your head. I guess. No, <laughs> this is this is what assholes with no taste call modern art. This is not look art. This is look at their parents art. work for there. fucking Google, and they don't have to worry about look, any who, bills in their life. It's stupid. Look at shit them just sitting here like idiots watching no. this. How yeah, do you get well, the they air? might be like NASCAR people just hoping they're gonna see a wreck and somebody die. How, so I yeah, that's it. what that's where I'm it's, sitting at. It's like, how are you getting the air? How are you surviving? The hoses, those hoses. The hoses. One is easy. sucking the air out, one is pumping it in. I mean, Dermy, you understand that yeah. process. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> here we go though. I mean this, 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 what, this, what are they supposed to be doing? They're art. They're supposed to be living art. They're yeah. It it doesn't have to make sense to anybody with a brain in in their stupid little world. Any actual artist, like if you fucking brought some of the artists from the past, the the legends of art, right, back here and showed them this shit, they'd Look be like, this. "What the fuck Jesus is wrong?" Christ, with you this people? is one step away. All he needs to do is take off his pants, and then he has a st- like a sex crime on. Oh, wait, no. No, it's art. It's going to be under. Well, it's art, so we can he can show flash his dick to literally everybody. Fuck you. The only thing that doesn't yep. surprise me is that I'm I can't believe they didn't fucking like cover him in shit before they did. You this. know, you yeah, know what? Kratos no Kratos so says it right over on fucking uh, on Rumble for five dollars. I want a human centipede situation where the exhaust from one goes into the other. That's art. <laughs> You know what? Here, you, no, you know what? Think, speaking of that, we can make a real life human centipede and no. just say it's art and get why the are fuck we, away why, with it. Why, why are we going down this track again? <laughs> I'm telling you because how modern right. art is. It's total shit. And they get away with literally everything by saying, well, it's art. Exactly. Oh, I, Adam, I guarantee he's therapy. absolutely right. That would be fucking incredible yeah. art as a human centipede to these people. No, but I think the reason he keeps bringing it up because I think fucking Dermy used to sew his teddy bears to fucking gather to make a human. When was the last time I, I brought up the human centipede? I don't know. <laughs> if you've you brought it up once in your life, movie. you've brought it up three <laughs> times. <laughs> Dermy, it's part of it the opening intro. opening intro right now. That is true. the anniversary that, that intro. God damn it. For like the past Jeez. month. That's very true. That is very true. Yeah. I'll, there, yeah, there are several films that have stuff like this. Blade Runner being one of them and Blade being the other oh this wasn't type there, of but it's a it, movie that's yeah, a wasn't movie. It a deus this ex, is retardation yeah wasn't a deus ex machina had like the oh the android people that every so often would just change positions and it was supposed to be art i don't remember i haven't seen that I didn't uh it's that a film it's a video through. game none of these the, yeah i'm, I mean, I'm thinking of the video game None of these things have to make sense. Like, literally, if I wanted to, I could make a clear trash can, put it in the middle of Times Square, have it paint, paint it on the front trash can, have everyone throw their trash on me inside of the fucking glass thing and call it art. And somebody would probably pay me a ridiculous amount of money for my clear fucking trash box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they would. No, you, don't have the connections. Got- you don't have the You don't have the name as an artiste. Yeah, only, you don't have only if you are only if you are proclaimed by his people to actually be an hey. artiste. Will you get five hundred thousand dollars for a fucking banana pinned to a wall? 
Did you post Andy it Pickle says it right? Instagram Andy devil? Pickle says it right. Hunter's an artist. That's right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Million and pipe half. benders are artists. Fuck these people. Yeah. This... Bending pipe. Have you ever seen like like electrical pipe, bro? And they how they like bend Holy it and shit. It's gorgeous. Crap. What's up, Alec Baldwin's <laughs> finger? Hey, shut the fuck up, Adam. Yo. Alec Baldwin's finger. Fifty for one big fifty. He never misses. Dude says literally table. nothing. Drops a 50 on the table and moonwalks the fuck out. Moonwalks right out of the, the bathroom stall. The, the, <laughs> the right. funny thing is, uh, Dermy's uh, nickname is uh, Pipe Bender. So. <laughs> no, my, my nickname is a Deep Pipe. <laughs> my nickname is Deep Pipe. Deep Pipe? I'm... I. Wow. Is there an I take Lots at the words. beginning of that? Yeah, it, 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 joke over. You you figure it out. I don't want to figure it out. I have brain cells left. I don't listen. I I drink. I'm I'm, I'm drinking a lot. I it's been a rough week. I'm just gonna say that it's been a long week. It's Shock! Have you worked him too hard at the stop? <laughs> what was no. that? <laughs> have you been pimping him too hard at the truck? Shock! Stop? Did you did you Not... pimp hand him a few times this week? Always, you know what you always. Always, he's killed me a few times in Helldivers. I'm trying to trade you to, to <laughs> Trish. She'll beat the shit out of you. I don't, I don't pin slap him enough. I told her I would trade you for three Virgin Tears and Maza. That was the deal. She hasn't gotten back to me yet, though. <laughs> She's not gonna give up Maza. <laughs> give up Maza. She tried doing the big ass. She was like, "You view Dermy so little." <laughs> Anyways, uh, I forgot where. Thank you, going. ABF. You're a stud. I'm fucking Thank you, ABF. Up. He just All went right. on a trip it's to, uh, I think, Greenland or Iceland. Iceland. He went to Iceland. Jeremy heard Deep Throat and got into politics. <laughs> 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 That's your political show name. You know what? That's actually a good idea. No. That's a great name. You're going to get the wrong idea. kind of audience on that one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd want to be on a political show called Deep Throat. I'm sorry. You know, Kratos has a good question. Who's Blab Simp? Who is Blab's Simp? I don't know. They're, they're that would be Cloud. <laughs> so, Cloud, you talk to yourself in the side scrollers chat? No, that's not me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty know. sure it is you. It's not. I'm pretty sure it is. I've Here, seen a lot of things around. It's funny. Here, I want to pull this one up because we were talking about anime earlier. And Adam, you wanted to pull this up yesterday. And then I. Oh, found we ran out of time. Yeah, we didn't have time. Yeah, we that. ran out of time. But we have an anime got Brandon here. But Japan Communist Party encourages members to report fan service manga to the UN. Oh, no, titties. Oh, typical yeah. communist shit. Fuck. What do we expect from, yeah. from, yep. from those uh, dipshits and uh, cocksuckers and all that? Oh, wait. I'm sorry about that. Never mind. Yeah, no, you, no, you're right. Uh, communism is punished for speaking the truth. Yep. Yeah, that's right. The, the Japanese Communist Party has reportedly created a secret report from the form to spread amongst its members in order to report young adult manga to yeah. the well, United Nations. Commies are spreading papers amongst each other. What a surprise. <laughs> real, real, real shocker. <laughs> Japanese Togetter? It, it's spelled Togetter. but It's I'm... too zoomed out. Zoom in. I can't, it's too small. Yep. It is together spelled blogger. Togetter. Yep. Togetter blogger. I feel like that's racist. Uh, okay. Misato Nakayama. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Reported finding the form as a QR code in Shibuya Akihata. Shibuya. Shinban oh God. Shibuya. Shibuya. Akihata. Shibuya. Shinban Akihata. <laughs> my God, I hate you. My, listen, yeah, you can hate me. The, the Daily, Daily Newspaper. Newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. The Daily Newspaper for the Japanese Communist Party, JCP. The form asked questions such as whether. Com Convenience stores carry adult magazines and names magaz manga magazines that carry sin seinen. Seinen. Basically seinen, just, yeah, they're, they're titles for basically people that are 18 plus. Okay. 
Seinen titles for young adult men, such as Young Animal, which serializes Berserk. Wait, what? I don't know, look up a, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, that's to... that's basically one of the uh, the way it works is a lot of these a lot of these different manga they get put into basically they don't do their own individual comics, not like how American comics work. They have basically a compilation comic book that they do weekly. Mm-hmm. Young Animal is one of them, and their primary oh. focus is stuff that's 18 plus. Whereas Shonen Jump is like your your uh, My Hero Academia, your One Piece, that type of show. But they're all pissed off that, you know, cool shit exists like Berserk and, and all that because they're communists. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this commies, pers- commies hate, hate all kind of porn, even misery porn. Yeah, yeah, and I love my misery porn. I love it. Well, the reason why that is is because they don't like seeing a successful like IP or story that mm-hmm. isn't being. Um, how do you propaganda. say? Like, it doesn't. Yes, propaganda. like why wouldn't you utilize such a popular thing to put propaganda in it? It's such a waste. Because pro- to them, yeah, yeah, you're right. It is such a waste because to them, if you're not pushing the narrative, you're not doing the right thing. This push to vilify anime and manga appears to part- partially con- uh, blah, 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 partially contradict the party's statement in 2021, where the JCP affirmed the alleged comment <laughs> to free expression, commitment to free expression. I said expression wrong, but uh, I'm expression. Uh, but it's basically let- commies being commies. Yeah. You know, yeah. they they say one yeah. thing, do another. It, the the typical shit fucks that they are. So. And trying to provoke the United Nations into committing, commenting on Japan's policy of free expression. It's evocating, evocating, evacu- evocative, evocative. Yeah, evoc. Yeah, it's evocative of the Vice hit piece on Japanese media, which conflated fan service in manga and anime with. Uh, oh, you CP. fucking cocksucker! I remember that. That was two yep. years ago. Somebody wanted me to do a whole art video on it that was before i was doing my deep dives that is the most dumb shit article i ever fucking of read. course it is and it's from vice and of course all the you know all your your left toyed shit fuckers you know leftist blue-haired landwell brigade comedy well, shit fucks they all buy that and they all love that shit so well it, it's yeah. one of the like that art that hit piece was conflating wait, wait, i just realized adam was was gone that that hit piece was conflating and i'm just gonna remove this and stop sharing what I'm trying to think of my words here. That hit piece was conflating essentially lollicon shit to all around fan service and anime. Yes. Now I'm I'm in a weird predicament because I don't like censorship at all, but I don't like lollicon shit. I I'm not a defender of it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ever champion it. I'm never doing anything with lollicon shit. Okay, so it puts me in this weird predicament where I will not defend this, but it becomes very hard for me and all of all the way around when people start conflating at all. Yeah. Cause you have to come out basically say you, you have to come out and say, no, this is not what it is all while trying. People are saying, well, you're defending pedo shit. It's like, no, I'm not. I fucking hate that shit. Yeah. It's just, it's just they people to that say anime is just one yeah. genre, but it's like its own mm-hmm. media. Well, we had yeah, this whole exactly. different genres in it. Uh, we had this whole discussion last night, Adam. Zom one hundred. What is it? Even though I think it's, I, I think part it's of my a, argument about it. It doesn't know what it is. I think it's a bla- uh, blatant comedy that also deals with drama. But that's one of the cool parts about anime is you can spurn so many different genres throughout one mm-hmm. medium. That you can. And, and, Phil Spencer blames capitalism for gaming industry woes. I don't get the luxury of not having to run a profitable growing business. Why won't you buy my games? Oh, Why God. don't you love me, man? Wait, yeah, did, did, did he guy. really blame fuck Microsoft? Microsoft. Mark Wait, did he really ass. blame capitalism? Yep. Yes. Oh yeah, they yep. A few did. I yep. thought he just I thought he just recently said that the gaming industry was basically shrinking. I didn't think he actually blamed capitalism. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. he you know, he's a, he's your typical leftoid. Uh how can I phrase this? Uh he he he's bitch made. That's the that's the simplest term. He is he is the one 
that is to blame for the fall of Xbox and every single one of the Xbox studios. He is allowing and pushes and champions the the bullshit that comes on high from Shenzhai or whoever his name is. Of course, it's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna parse my words here. The guy that's been in charge of Microsoft ever since uh, what's uh, what's it, Balmer retired. He's not. He does not have that uh, that steeped love for. Th- the American First Amendment, that type of person. So because of that, they don't, you know, they, they think of themselves more as, you know, global citizens as opposed to citizens of the U.S. So they embrace all the stupid shit that does eventually end up killing things. Hence why Xbox has been in the shits for really, really in the shits for four years, but wasn't in a good place. It hasn't been in a good place for 10. So... It's their own fault, and I'm glad that they're that they're croaking because yep. Microsoft. It's one of those they don't things get it. Like, it. This is one of those things that <clears throat> is really hard for me because I was besides being a, a what what's the like derogatory term for a Nintendo, Nintendo drone? Fan? Well, let's yeah, see. Besides there's... people call me a Nintendo drone, I was. I've got three Xbox terms. Boy. I've got three yeah. terms. There's X boners or X or Xbox bros, the Soyoni ponies. Yeah. And yeah, Nintendo bots or Nintendo don'ts, Nint- whatever. So I usually get yeah. called the Nintendo drone, but for the longest time I was an Xbox bro. I, I, I was one of those guys. I was the X boner. X boner. Okay. Yeah. X boner, whatever you want to say. Like, <laughs> cause I like the Xbox. The Xbox was my go to. Yeah platform because that's and with where 360 my... and the original i can totally understand mm-hmm. why yeah and like i stuck with it even when it went into the x bone itself uh it like my best friend who literally i, I wanted to try to get on the show sometime uh he, he had an xbox we played freaking halo together we played gears of war together we played mm-hmm. so many games together all my friend my go-to friends had this co- freaking console so I would always play, hang out with them and play games with them. So that's why I was a defender of it. And then when X-Bone came, X-Bone throughout its life cycle, it was like, there's really nothing here. Then Xbox One S is like, you you have nothing. You have literally nothing. I can't defend you anymore, but you're pushing all this bullshit. It's mm-hmm. like, what, what, what's the fucking point? You killed your own fucking platform. Xbox. Because yep. you didn't care Watching anymore. you poop. <laughs> that's what you said. That's the joke you make. Xbox watching you poop. Yeah. Yeah, they really did didn't, kill their own brand, but you know, didn't this they, is didn't this they is one of those somebody. things with oh, oh go go ahead go ahead go ahead. Didn't they ban somebody from Xbox Live for having sex essentially in front of the the Connect, even though the Xbox probably was off? it wouldn't surprise me. I remember I remember the story. I need to look into it. But you know, yeah, they are their own worst enemy. But this is this is a problem. That's more particular to Microsoft because the Xbox division in general has never brought Microsoft any real amount of money. That's not, that's never been their big thing. Their big thing has been the data centers, especially ever since Sanjaya took over. They, they were, they were one of the first ones to get into the cloud computing crap and that has paid off for them because they're yeah. that side of their, that side of the business rakes in, I want to say like half of their overall. And then of course, oh, all yeah. of their business stuff, you know, windows and, and office and all that breaks in. A and they've been championing, uh, what is it? Game pass right now? Cloud yeah. gaming and everything like that, which honestly, hey, rent cloud forever, gaming. yeah. Yeah. That, it, it's, the that's what I people. think. Uh, I think Xbox is just going to bring the stadia back and stop doing consoles and then just PC is going to boom. Well, they the problem said with that. Re- oh, go, say, go ahead, go ahead. And Adam, you're right. They they said recently they're gonna keep doing a console. The pro yeah. the thing is though, how I see them doing it in the future is a sort of stadia system. It's just yep. how do you get, how do you end up getting that much data and info onto essentially a like a without I see them lag like, massive yeah without massive without lag. massive laugh lag or anything like that how do you get that on essentially something that's the size of a fire stick or a roku stick or something like yeah. that? here's 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 the thing i know some people enjoy game that's some people right here today they like to use game pass because it's a way to get things on your console without having to have really static is here and i get that but here's the thing 
it to me it's no better than streaming services we're just gonna let you rent this forever you're never actually gonna own it yep you, you just get to rent it it's yeah. di- to me it's different than when i buy a digital copy and i put it on my i put it on my on my playstation at least it's there and i'm not until renting it i've purchased it well until it's not but if it's on my console yeah. it's well, there and i can unplug the console from the internet and it could stay there and no one could take it away from me technically therefore i still actually own it even though i prefer to get physical i mean i, I if i can get physical i yeah. will sometimes i'll go digital when if the price is better and if i and- literally can't get a physical copy and i and, and, and it makes more sense at the moment point is i am just not a fan of rentings forever and that's what game pass feels to me it's written mm-hmm. just like netflix says here rent this forever until we say you can't have it anymore but like, another aspect of that is like for game pass i haven't re-up my game pass in a while i don't only, re- only get game pass for maybe a month here or there if there's a game on there that i actually want to try the last game i really signed up for was uh Oh, what Bethesda's last game, Starfield? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, yeah, Shitfield. Yeah, yeah Shitfield. I I signed up for state uh, Game Pass again so I could play Starfield. Same. Uh, literally would not work on it on you know, my Xbox. It was on shit Xbox. on Game Pass, here's, bro. Here's the thing: it, w- it would not run at all. It was yep. like, okay, then I'm I'm not playing this game. I, I'm I'm just not. It, it's shit. It's not loading. It's and not doing it's boring. Anything. I, and but, guess what? Now that I don't have Game Pass, I can't play the game. But, I can't do here's, anything. Here's I have it thing. downloaded. I can't do shit. With here's it. the thing when it comes to that stuff. I'm done. Uh, I know I am. Uh, I'm an atypical gamer. I don't get lots of stuff. I'm very particular about what I buy. Yes, I don't just... I was originally mostly just an RPG player. I do range a little bit out here and there. But it's really RPGs and strategies. I don't go too far from that. Game Pass is not made for me, which is why I don't usually take massive dumps on it. It's made for people who want access to all these games whenever they want. Yeah. But I still don't agree with the system of basically just renting it. I just, yeah, it's it's just kind of a, a it's kind it's 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 the fun cloud gaming. That's what Game Pass is. It's to fund it. Yeah. Uh, it's, yep. It's a it's a convenience factor as well that's why people love it just like why why netflix killed blockbuster it was convenient yep. mm-hmm. and now we've lost digital media i just want to know how that fuckhead can think that capitalism is to blame for his business not growing when it was I, capitalism because they controlled the market yeah. awesome. it, it, no capitalism look, is the reason to blame because no one wants your shitty product and you deserve to fail look real quick yep. let me hit this because i'm it's well passed and I do want to hit it real quick. I want to give Crimson Law at least his two dollars worth. Uh, commies can't even let the nips be free, and I agree with that. I'm sorry I didn't get to that sooner. Conversations on this, they usually it's usually a lot of free flow and everything. I just wanted to hit that as soon as I could. But uh, you're right, capitalism made Microsoft cap like crony capitalism. Let me be real fair here. Some things. Uh, well, hey. Good old fashioned good old fashioned well, corporate espionage also made money. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, the, <laughs> the stupid thing is, is that it's capitalism or communism. They, they both only allow you to be a painter if you're good, because they oh, yeah. they have they have so the box of food, the free box of food for painters. They're not going to give it to anyone who wants to paint. That's what the problem with all the commie well, assholes out there. I they would, think that if the communist revolution yeah. came, that everyone's going to be like, "What do you want to do? I want to paint. Do you paint good?" No, I paint like shit. Oh, then we'll no, definitely no. feed you your food free factory. food. You can't be an artist. Shit. Yeah, no. You would go to the so, factory or the fields, and the artists that are good are the ones who get free food to paint pictures. So I'm going to so slightly no disagree. It's the idiot. artists that paint good also have to paint the propaganda. Yes. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't yeah. change the, it doesn't Whereas change the fact in, that only the good are the ones who are going to get fed for painting. Well, are only going to be the, the good, good artists. That are willing to bend but, the knee. They'll, they'll also won't be doing art all the time. It will only be when the government needs something. Otherwise, they will be out in yeah. the field most of the time as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they need We're art the- for their palaces and shit like that because uh, also the contrary it, belief they'll, in they'll communism. The there's still the they'll uppers and the go. lowers. They'll, there's just no middle class. Listen, That's what they'll they got Hunter Biden. They'll take Van Gogh. They'll take uh, the guy that splattered paint everywhere and called it art. That actually is a pretty good. Uh, what, what, what was his name again? What are you talking about? Uh, the the one that splashed it all over, just threw it on the canvas. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, Pollock, Jackson yeah, Pollock. Jackson Pollock. I'll actually defend Jackson Paul, Jackson Pollock, Paul even does. though I do think he he was the beginning of like a modern art craze. I do like some of his work. Uh, Jackson Pollock. They'll they'll take those paintings because they can because now it's the property of the state. They can take whatever the fuck they want for their palaces. But all these all these retarded the party members, leftist idiots who think that when the revolution comes, they'll be able to get like free food and everything covered for them while they write bad poetry. No, if you write shitty poetry under capitalism, you don't make no money and you starve. If you don't, if you write shitty poetry under communism, they just send you to the field and tell you work or die, dumb shits. Yeah, and Kratos yep. also points it out here: artists that paint good at. Uh, he, he had a yeah, artists, artists that are good at painting yeah yeah artists are good at painting artists that are good at painting or are good at little lap dogs and or friends of people in power yeah, that's who friends. end up thriving within communism but buddies yeah yeah but buddies yeah that's why nepotism you won't be married you'll be but buddies <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I, mean, I, I didn't uh, have a problem with that term either does anybody want to see uh, the new pottery class Dermy's joining? Uh, I don't you know, know I was about no. to say, are you taking this to the Godzilla movie? Because I kind of do want to see it, but... Is it making some big clay wiener? Yeah, oh, call yes. it. There we go. Oh, shit, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Dermy's going for lessons. <laughs> now, here's the thing, though. No what's just there. National K through 12 ceramic exhibition. Oh, suck. Well, that, that doesn't well, mean no, that's no, what's no, happening no, right no, now. Yeah, no, does, she, no. she's not no, no. making a dick necessarily. Well, no, well, she might be for this video. Listen, a lot of people end up thinking exhibition is always the sexual term. Exhibition just means exposure. No, I mean world, an so. exhibition, but I mean. Yeah, yeah. It, it, is this what is this what she's doing at the ha- exhibition? Haven't <laughs> haven't you ever heard the term "all pots have started out as dicks"? I mean, no, she's actually <laughs> taking a ceramics class or some shit in college, getting her associates in arts, and this is how she's. Using yeah, look that. at her tree tattoo. She's, she's getting it up. I was I mean, say... look at her tree tattoo. She's some sort of Gen Z college liberal arts major individual mm-hmm. who's like, oh yeah, just jerk off to me, making it like shaping clay into a dick and everything like that and Dude, how you look at her did. shirt yeah oh uh, yeah 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 she's, starfish she has over no, her tits. she's doing yeah she has no bra on let's be real yes. fair here she has no bra on she's she's Dermy, like, she's looking right at you Dermy. yeah exactly dude i ain't gonna she's lie i'm a little turned on right now but still it's the joke we know this is a dude Dermy, <laughs> Dermy learned that in his in from working that you make eye contact. That's important. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's what it's no. gay though. It's it's gay when you make eye contact. No, you don't no, make no. Eye contact, I, it's not gay. I learned you do not ever look on who's the other side of that wall because you might get disgusted. Yeah, so because would they. They, <laughs> <laughs> they think it's a woman on the other Did side. Did she film this during Black History Month? <laughs> 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 oh shit, that's funny. Okay, well, but... Dermy's gonna take this class. He's ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm ready. But uh, real quick, uh, let me double check times. So, uh, Brandon, you gotta go, bud. Yeah, I do need to go. I need to. It's it's getting late for me, and I've got a few things I gotta have ready for tomorrow morning. So yeah. the season has ended. I'm gonna be handing out. Uh, uh, the best of awards for this past season of anime and building the official anime guy spring 2024 list from which uh, my own personal watch list will will spring forth from and uh this season is the it, it's the season of returning shows there's a ton yeah. of shows yeah there's a lot of stuff there's a there's a tons of there's a ton of returning shows and yes then there's kaiju number eight and then there's kaiju number eight in fact uh, let me let me let me bring it up here real quick. I look quick. forward to watching Just... everything in three months. <laughs> well, I can, I'm... I can Listen, watch the last... stuff. I, I enjoy doing that. So the last time I, I just was can't see in week excited... to week waiting anymore. That's my so, problem. I just the last time I was this excited for an anime was and oh yeah, I forgot Demon Slayer, the new yep. season of Demon the Slayer. Next, you uh... just told me literally last night, Adam. I that said that I said that to Slayer. you last night. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So if, if you love Konosuba, we got oh. the third season of Konosuba. The Hashira training arc for Demon Slayer, yeah. Mushuko Tensei yeah. Jobless Reincarnation Season 2, uh, Core 2, 
Slime Isekai, Boko no Hero Academia, so My Hero Academia Season 7, mm-hmm. Kaiju Number 8, Spice and Wolf, The Misfits of Demon King Academy. That's an underrated Corp show. Two. People don't give that I, one enough love. That sounds like something I would like. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch this. I'm watching this for the curiosity because I never saw the original. And I am going to watch Go Go Loser loser oh, ranger regular magic high school that, again that's another underrated show regular that's a good one oh i need to get caught up on data life five data I, life here's the problem data life five they changed the animation style in season four and it looks like shit mm. i need to get caught up on code geos before that new movie comes out because yep. uh, guess what it's gonna be on higher. disney plus dermy yep <laughs> more code gay ass that's true <laughs> that that's how i was told that it was pronounced so no, it's, I'm just, it's geos, it's geos. It's geos. No, don't, don't, okay. don't. Yeah, it's Gios. Okay. Well, now I know. <laughs> now I know better. Black, black Butler. Butler. Black Butler Public School. Okay. I, I, I the Black Butler was a bad adaptation of the manga. That's what I heard, and then they started doing. Because uh, season two, I don't, I don't like to talk about season two. Then there's season three, which is like going more towards what the manga did so a lot of people ignore what season two what happened in season two to go through season three and i guess they have a new season which i'm i'm willing to check it out i like black butler so i'm also looking i i think i'm also going to put this one on there grandpa and grandma turn young again i have a feeling that's going to be it's going to be out there brandon i have a quick question for you yeah in regards to demon slayer what were your thoughts on the sword village art I have not watched it. I've only gone through okay. the first 26 episodes. I've started the uh, uh, the Mugen Train arc three times, and I have I just have other things to do. I, I It's not like I don't so, like Demon Slayer. I just don't. So what I'll tell you for the Mugen, for what I'll tell you for the Mugen Train, watch the movie. Just, just watch, watch the, the movie. movie. Okay. Yep. Movie is a whole lot better than the actual arc. Yeah, they drag because it the out. arc. The, the arc gets dragged out way too long. The movie hits all the points that the manga hits. Yeah. Um, what I'll say for in regards to Sword Village, a lot of people said it was it, it didn't hit them the way it should the other arcs did. Mm-hmm. It didn't have the impact. For the people and maybe a couple of your people who are in your audience that are here right now, um, if you didn't like the Sword Village arc. You're gonna hate the next arc, but I'm telling you now, See, tough it out. I love the Sword Village arc, and I'm excited for this mm-hmm. one because I like training arcs. And I'm arc. a guy who I've read the entire the entirety of the uh, of the anime. By the way, I still need. A, I'm looking forward to the Baki versus uh, uh, the Baki. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of Baki, but I like Ashura, so I'm looking forward to that crossover event that's going on. Yeah, Baki Kengen Ashura. Versus Kengen Ashura. Kengen Ashura is just a bunch of muscle bound guys fighting the whole time, and it's just fights. That's that. It's something you can turn your brain off and watch a bunch of people just beat the shit out of each other. That's why I love it. Yeah. But uh, real quick, when it comes to the next arc, yeah. it's slow, it's monotonous, but it's character building, it's character, it's world development, and you, for those of you who have watched it, you get to learn about sun breathing and where it comes from i believe if i if my memory serves me right that'll be good and a few others that i'm looking forward to i i have started to enjoy racing anime so high speed etole will be good and of course we got to watch sandland it's akira toriyama so we got to watch it and then you know we we get uh <laughs> we all there's always one each season that's just uh like this so that looks super fucking gay gay as hell yes what? yeah yes. this one this one would most likely violate rule number five of anime that i have which is uh it's yaoi which means it's for middle-aged women and actually not for not for gays crimson so. law you, crimson law you and me you're obviously a guy who's read the manga yes swordsmith arc hashira training kind of suck there's parts in hashira training i really like but they kind of suck but it goes right into possibly the greatest arc yet yeah jeremy have you ever watched yuri on ice (laughs) is that that skater chick no no they why would anyone urinate on ice (laughs) 
Yeah, I mean, I urinate on ice every winter, so if you like pretty derby, right you're me. getting a movie. So new, a new pretty derby movie, and there's actually two golf animes, and there's also a baseball anime. First baseball anime I've seen see, in like twenty plus years. See, so. this is why I fucking love anime. Okay, I, just don't like sports I would anime. never this think to so make a sh- uh, golf. It, golf's boring to me. Okay, even Mario Golf is boring to me. But golf, anime has you actually, a actually golfed. I have golfed. Like yeah. I, oh, I did get, right. I, I did golf with my dad. It, I was just always bored during during it. Oh, I loved the it. only upside. Did you to bring it, beer? Because that's the way to do it. <laughs> I was too I, young when I started. Well, you oh, just wow. haven't. Then you have not actually golfed. I have golfed in high case. school, dude. And like my first three holes, like I just, it was perfect. It was far. It was but, straight. And I was like, dude, I'm so good at this. And then I just couldn't reach the green the whole day. But and I was, my whole, I'm, I'm, I'm glad your first three off. holes were straight, but what about the rest of them, dude? <laughs> no, yeah. they're way well, off. Hey, my, my first three holes in <laughs> high school is, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if but, you want to watch a good golf anime that also involves, uh, gambling in the Yakuza esque type, Setups, mm. Birdie Wing, Golf Girl's Story. I've got a friend I of mine see, that absolutely I loves see this one. There. Gosh, um, yes. This, this, looks yeah. wonderful. this one has two yeah. seasons, so. This looks <laughs> Was that good? Yeah, yeah, yeah shocking because <laughs> hardly anything gets you know more than one season, but it it did get two. So, but, this but yeah, is, it's, it, it's this it's goes so into a point that I was gonna make. Yes, anime can make a golf a, a show literally based on golf, one of the most boring sports out there. And you'll be interested to check it out. There was I don't remember, I don't remember if it was a manga, uh, a manga artist, or th- there was a creative of some sort, maybe even a comic book artist, that said he loved manga because they cover so many different genres. And he was reading a manga at the time of fishing, mm-hmm. and he loved it. And it's it, it, it's one of those things like that's what manga, that's what anime and manga can do. They take all these different things, things that you think could be super fucking boring, and make it fucking interesting yep so how to love your elf bride who who knew that we needed that well oh, i mean yeah, i'm pretty sure shotgun loves some elves <laughs> i uh i love elves i'm actually creating one right now on dragon's dogma too <laughs> Here you fuck go. you this one looked really this one looked interesting love these. Uh, yeah. let's see here Not- when so let me read this one because i i this is from katoshana when you're the infamous prodigy hitman known only as Fable, many things come easy. Being a normal person, however, is not one of them. In fact, being told he can't, he cannot kill anyone for a while may be just the hardest job Fable's ever taken. <laughs> and of it course, he has inter- a bird on his head. <laughs> it does sound super freaking interesting. My nah, problem is I don't ass. like to look at the art style. Yeah, that the art is, style is different art, on this one. The, yeah, the art also is there, but no, I pass. I pass. Yeah, no, it's I got could, a different I could look get to behind. it. I could get behind this. I'm just not a fan of the art style. Yeah, it's 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 one of the rare ones that takes a closer to actual non-stylized Japanese look, actual Japanese look versus the other. Uh, there was yeah. a show last year that did the, that did the same thing. It was. They didn't ham up any of it, and it was my home hero. If you get a chance, watch that one because that one was fantastic. Okay. Check it or out. Uh, let's see, there was also uh, uh, the ways of the house husband. <laughs> oh, dude, I watch that in that. Japanese. You have to watch <laughs> that in actually, Japanese. It was actually pretty. Good. Isn't that the one about? Isn't that the one about the uh, former Yakuza member who's now uh, just a stay-at-home dad? Yeah. Kinda. Here it is. Yeah, the, yeah, that's on Netflix. I've I've actually looked at yep. into watching it because it looks kind of fun. It's it's it it's not your standard anime. Everything in it is shorts, about maybe three yeah, four minutes it's long. Yeah, kind of episodic, like shorts. Yeah, but it's hilarious, and you have to watch. This is one that I believe you absolutely have to watch it in Japanese. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. you miss out on that 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 gnarliness that. That a, that a Japanese speaker gets when speaking about you know, about everyday life being former yakuza. Oh my god, he's and like having the shibuin dude, on he, your 
on your apron well, while you're out shopping. Like he's getting his wife a birthday present and he's basically buying her like the complete set of like Sailor Moon. And the guy mm-hmm. thinks he's like trying to buy drugs off of him because he's so serious when he negotiates. Yes. <laughs> it does look freaking good oh it's hilarious i laughed my ass off at it it's it's so it's so funny but yeah it's it's they're not very long there's Mm -hmm. two seasons of it and they're both both fantastic and let's see uh the ones the manga oh this is the this is the manga that's in the show and they actually get two chapters what (laughs) they ripped off sailor moon Prime catch polycure. <laughs> Poly- yeah. <polycure. laughs> That's great. Almost that. like cart come catch your sakura. Yeah. Oh exactly. So that one's an easy watch, hey, but I said you have to watch it in Japanese. You have to. Be- oh, yeah. Before Brandon leaves, I'm so freaking happy that he knew exactly what I was- what I meant when I said come catch your sakura. I'm so freaking happy. <laughs> Gal's gonna beat oh. you up. She's gonna beat Gal's you like a gonna- drum. Gal's gonna beat me up. Clouds when he finally meets me, I'm probably gonna die. And I'm <laughs> I'm just so fucking happy. Jeremy, did you ever watch an anime called Colorful? What? Called Colorful? Yeah. I heard cauliflower. Cauliflower. It, 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 it helps like it, 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 just say cauliflower. It is, it is the most degenerate shit ever. Here you go. Did you write well, it? Well, obviously. Obviously, no. Cloud's seen it. <laughs> I did. This was back when uh, there was, you know, no really anime on TV. But then, you know, well, Comcast on demand, they had a few animes, and I watched of this course. one. Of course. <laughs> this is how got uh, Tsunami's in full swing at this point. Let's listen, see. This, this is came out we... in '99, so. Yeah. L- listen, listen. This is how we got Cloud to be who Cloud is. Pure degeneracy. He saw on Comcast on demand. <laughs> it, it makes logical sense. Oh, it's yeah, it, it's good stuff. There's one other. Oh, there was one that I was thinking of that's degenerate as hell. Okay, when it goes to the difference between an anime and a manga, by show of uh, uh, hands, how many think the manga typically is more degenerate than the anime? Uh, fuck, because they they will edit shit out. Yeah, I mean, they'll edit shit out, but were. sometimes the anime on purpose worse. will go full bore. Well, here's the one that's the exact opposite. Oh, I you, Jesus Christ! People have been talking yes. about this one. This I is saw, I saw it recently. Like I've seen clips, I've seen stuff about <laughs> it. I'm I'm sitting here looking, kind of want to watch it. Yeah, this is. Let's put it this way. There are three versions of this show. The one pretty tamed down version that, you know, for, for other, other stations. The second version is the ATX version, which is they're a service in Japan that typically will take the risk and show the more risque type stuff. High Dive picked up the ATX version, but that's yep. not it. The Blu-ray release is even more degenerate than that. And this is a magnitudes more degenerate than the manga. Listen, and it was degenerate as fuck to begin with. Listen, I'm seeing High Dive involved. High Dive also did that uh in Isuki Sai's dog or I want yes, to be Isuki They showed they showed that. They didn't show the right version of it, but they did carry it. Listen, the same with Redo. They have Redo, but they don't have yeah. the ATX version. Yeah. What I hate Redo. is that when Redo came out, everybody's going, Oh my god, this is what anime is all about. No, this is softcore porn. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh yeah. That, that's what this is. It's Part, regular look, anime. It's fucking softcore listen, porn. Listen, for for anime odyssey i kind of want to make adam watch that inu isukasai's dog because i had to watch parts of it because bug talked about it and it's like i know no fuck that no fuck that no i kind of want to torture adam but at the same time i don't do you really want to ruin an entire episode kind of because it's me but at the same time it's like you're fired My life is Unukai san's dog. That's what you're. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's literally a girl that just wants to fuck her goddamn corgi. (laughs) Pretty much. And the poor bastard just keeps wanting to get away from her. But there's also another one. 
that they have that uh, I, 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 I dropped the other one and I dropped this one, but I dropped them for different reasons. What, you didn't drop it because she's just a bestiality chick? No, I never watched that one. I didn't pick that one up. Oh, I did actually, start the no, other I one. I haven't watched this one yet. That's on my list right now. This is actually I, on my list. It looks so this one good. is act from the manga from, from what I understand is better. But the name has been changed. And the version that they're carrying is also the ATX version of this. Let's see if I have the uncensored one. Hold on. Uh, so, I can get a hold of it. I want to watch this. This that listen, the cover art alone makes me want to watch it. Yeah. And it's you, it's got it, but this you, is not its original name. What's what's the what I, I only have what's it called again? Let me see which one. It's, it's called Chain Soldier, but its original name is Slave Soldier. And because it has that uh that oh, S word, they had to change it. Wait a minute. It. Yeah, I I I did they didn't have a batch on it, so I, I yeah, I didn't get this one yet because they didn't have a batch ready yet. Yeah. They've already got it they they announced they're getting a second season of this, which is oh wait, yeah, Mat Mato say hey no slave. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I do have it. Uh, yeah, and I think it's uncensored. Yeah the the high dive Wait. one is uncensored. Oh, if you're saying slave, that's the then that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. yeah, yeah. there's this this past season, considering the era that we're in, was pretty degenerate compared Carl, to what we've Carl, been for the past five or six years or so. Carl Carlson says, "Chain yeah. Soldier is the politically correct title. I call it Mato." say hi no slave in yeah. europe it's called demon slave yep hmm. there was one other that was also pushing pushing that line which i'm surprised that crunchyroll carried this is on there tales, tales of wedding rings. rings this is also getting a second oh my season. god this uh, looks yeah, I amazing I too. yeah i got this one too i this probably one, have to have watch it too. with my camera turned off and everything like that <laughs> you know? Yeah, I got this in one. In the dark, away from yeah. everybody with headphones what's, what's, on. What's the uh, Japanese one? Uh, what's the name of it? Which one is it? The, the Romanji of it. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, Kekon, Yubawa, Monogatari. Yeah, got it right here. Yeah, I got it. There you go. That's one yeah. of Adam's uh, turn everything. Well, no, I, I, no, no, I, I, I first of all, one, it's it's fantasy or something, grab it, but then I saw the etchy and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get fan service. So. Yeah, it, it does have it, and this is... This is harem world building because he has to in order to achieve the his goal, which is not to you know soldiers bet every one of them, but he have, he kind of has to. Yeah. I only got three but episodes listen. in. I ran out of time. I didn't want to listen. You got to bet all the girls, but soldier spirit. <laughs> do you know what a harem is? I'm just thinking about suing these fuckers for uh, taking my name. So listen, listen. Do you know what a harem is? I I, I must ask this question. Well, there's yeah a fucking Middle Eastern harem of uh, multiple wives. Okay. I should have th I should have thought that through. Yeah. Those Come on. Different. Come it, on. It's a term in condom common understanding outside of uh, anime. The only problem with Slazy, having this I many. I fucking love ya. I live <laughs> alone, so I'll watch it on my on a sixty inch TV with surround sound. LOL. There we go. <laughs> It's the only uh, problem with any list. I have I have oh, lists that cover that. anime going back to 1970. <laughs> talked about rough, you know, put on a list somewhere, 3,400 shows. So getting this need, past season is tough, but I'll, I'll say this. Absolute must watch, must watch. If you love big, gigantic, stompy robots, that's also gay as hell. And I'm not talking about the G-A-Y, I'm talking about the G-H-E-Y and, and all that. And this is a good one. This is This was way better than I thought it was going to be. Delicious. Shangri La, Yurosei Atsura, Tis Time for Torture, it's getting a second season. Sasuke and Peeps, getting a second season. Fluffy Paradise, this, this is the anti this. This is, this gives you 10 out of 10 cavities. It's that damn cutesy and that yeah, I, type I, I of. I passed on that one. I, I loved it. That, I thought it was that fun. Sounds, that sounds like something I'm going to hate. Probably. But I said I, I had to have something to balance me out. And it actually did have a pretty good story to it. So I liked it. This should get a second season, but it probably won't. Uh, it's it's getting the list. second. Yeah. Getting the second. Probably won't get a second, but it probably should. Probably should. <laughs> probably should or shouldn't. It probably Questionable. shouldn't, but it might. There's no word on it yet, so I don't know. This one was also uh, very fan service y without yeah. being over the top fan service y. This might one was horrid. 
I'm gonna, I Marshall's tell my gonna, I'm gonna be watching because the longest still on. going on. Yep, they're gonna continue Mashal because it's very popular. Uh, Sengoku Mashal? Yoku, yeah. I I watched the first episode. It's not for me. It's more of a late two thousands type anime show. I was out of it then. It didn't interest me. This was bad. I didn't. I do not like solo leveling. Uh yeah, I'm checking that one out. I've I've been wanting to watch solo leveling solely because I don't have it. They had one more episode when I was getting everything together, so yeah. I'm waiting for the batch. I I, I kind of want to watch it just because I when I was like playing live service games or some MMOs, I was always a solo leveler. So yeah, and then in April we get Spy Family Code White. This is going to be a fantastic movie. It's going to be fun. Can I, can I be real honest? Hmm. I'm I'm not a fan of spy family solely because everybody's gushing over it i want to stay as far away from it as possible this, I is, enjoy this it. is one of the few times where you know everybody's talking about it you know the hype's there this is one of the few times where it's like i really just don't want to do it you guys are loving it so much i want to avoid it at all costs i know the the waifu's in there everybody loves it it's wholesome and fun all at the same time it's like fuck off fuck off I it's got everything it. to it so i, I, mean, I do love spy good. family and I and I tend I I tend to gravitate more toward that the older I get because you know if I was if I was closer to your age and I wasn't uh, you know a happily married man that all type of stuff yeah this type of shit would I would have been all over it back well, in like, the twenties like the degenerate shit that's not really my go to either yeah I like I like Adam said it earlier I like the suffering misery porn. porn I like I yeah. like misery <laughs> porn I like shit like berserk I like that stuff I like that in that case you'd like probably like health. this one. Because it uh, it has some some misery to it. The wrong way to use healing magic. This one just ended. I need to finish the last eight, but it's an isekai. But they don't get truck cooned. And the <laughs> the one guy, he's got an affinity to, for healing magic. That's extremely rare in this world. And his uh, trainer is massively sadistic and masochistic towards how she treats him to get him to be strong and not be such a pussy basically not not be the modern japanese man be better than be better than that so no yeah fair i i picked this one up i told someone i'd pick it up but i haven't started it i probably won't check it but it's another one of those if you need a if you need just something to watch that's not gonna not gonna overdo overdo your stimulus one way or the other and just a decent palate cleanser this one was it so hmm. but that's uh that's what i started with and that's what i ended with and i definitely need to finish up mashal and i i do hope that we get a second season of this but i just don't think we will and that's a shame because it was pretty good i, I think it's deserving of that second season but that's why you get the manga that's well, why yeah. you get the manga. So yeah, yeah so. that's why you always. That, that's why I've started reading more manga versus. Well, I give it. I give something a chance. I'll wait a while before it's definite something's not going to get more seasons. It's like okay, if I'm really interested, I will then go read the manga. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was actually surprised how many shows from this season are getting a second season. It's it's much higher than normal. Mm -hmm. So, which is good because the ones that are getting it, I typically liked and gravitated towards. One that I wish that we would get a second season for, but we never will, is Skeleton Knight in Another World. I love Skelly. That was yeah. that was hilarious. I enjoyed the Skeleton Knight was funny and over the top. It was it wasn't my usual go tos, but yeah. that is kind of sad. It's not getting a second season. Yeah. So that's where all that's at. So yeah, I do need to boogie. Gotta gotta yep. get ready for tomorrow and go to bed and and all that fun stuff. So thank you so very much for having me. I definitely appreciate it. It was you're, a lot of fun. You're welcome, Brandon. It's, hey, Brandon. Uh, Yes. yes. As, as a fellow Packer backer, which I do not meet many here in the YouTube sphere, so many people mm -hmm. just kind of uh, shy away from football in general. But I would love to brag a little bit since I do have some of the background. I've never actually showed this off. I have an official Antonio Freeman here, bottle of whiskey here. signed by him, signed Whoa. by an Antonio Freeman, which I got in Green Bay. And Jerry Kramer's book signed by Jerry Kramer himself. Oh my God, you're and I so got nice. both of these sick. within 48 hours of each other. I met Antonio Freeman, got go on a tour on him, with him, and then Jerry Kramer got to sign a book in within 48 hours of each this other. This just completely killed my weed boner. Nice. Yeah, it really did. Please, please tell us how you're also. 
That's that's all. That's why I <laughs> oh, wanted to do that oh, before please, all please you guys say goodbye to him and all that. Don't be butt hurt because your team is no, fucking no, swifty propaganda. Please tell us how you're also partial owner of, of Green Bay. And I am Packers, also please. a partial owner of the Packers as well. I am an owner. Ah, lucky you. I I wanted to, but I'm so far away that I'd never be able to go. And with with the uh, the no fun league turning into what they're turning into, the it's I, a shame, dude. Yeah, the fucking Listen, sports. The no fun league, league, I love football, but I no did you see the Ravens stuck, wide receiver, but... dude? And all like, why do you fucking hate the Ravens so much? Me, the, yeah. dude. I the irony of that rate the ravens wide receivers are the most useless piece of shit of all time <laughs> there's no good raven wide receiver all the good raven wide fair. receivers played on a different team yeah that that's all so like that's you are fair. fucking useless Listen, my guy i know i preach anything right now i know there's at least two chiefs fans in the in the freaking chat and they can even agree with me fuck taylor swift oh yeah <laughs> that's yeah everyone who, i see that's everyone football I, I, I see Clifton saying Chiefs. I know Cash likes the Chiefs. Yep. I'm a Chiefs fan. Yep. F that B in the A. We don't need they they really don't need that shit in the NFL. They um, do, it's yeah. at, at least there at least there's one thing good. Andy Reid got his rings. He was gonna go to the Hall of Fame before. He's really gonna oh, yeah. go now. Yep. Oh yeah. Um, he deserved it. Well deserved. Yeah, it is very mm-hmm. well deserved. And yeah. But yeah, well, remember with, the, with the rule changes as well. With the rule changes that they've uh, that they've done, what the fuck is that? Drop tackles, dude. Like literally, they're made tackles illegal. I, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Everybody. Shit. That's something that's been trained since the very beginning. Well, they're more or less just turning it into flag football because they're going to be throwing I, flags every single time. Yeah. Yes, and you yeah. can't hit shoulder to shoulder anymore. It's like, oh, sorry, you want to go back to hitting the head? That's why you hit shoulder. I, I just don't know what I, the fuck they're going to do. It's two hand touch now. Exactly. I know Brandon. Ha- I know Brandon has to go for everything. But... Yeah, sorry, buddy. <laughs> nice right. but, sorry, I just expand this on for another like fucking twenty. No, minutes. you you I literally did that. because I had to Brandon show brought things up the off. rule changes, and then the next thing I thought was, what was that fucking new rule they added to the fucking? Yeah, uh, they basically have and... made playing defense impossible. It's been, yep. it really has been shit since uh, about the mid mid to late nineties, early two thousands. That's when. The defense has really started to get hosed in in the Brady era. That's when mm-hmm. that started to really turn. And ever since then, they just keep pushing and pushing and pushing for it. And all I'm going to say is, the NFL is bitch made. Oh yeah, that's why I stopped that watching Cowboys. Some... <laughs> exactly. Every time I... the rules change, it's always a fucking cowboy game. Like the, the surviving the catch. Four Raiders. <laughs> yeah, that's always the cowboy Listen, game. Like, the you Cowboys. survive the catch, though. It's like, where did that term come from? That's never the tough been a rule. Thing. Yep, all that, all hey, that man. shit. But Cl- Clay Matthews of the Packers was the first victim of this fucking baby oh, in the, the quarterback. Dude, uh, yep. he Pal yep, Gasol he was. so hard. He just like gave up playing football. It's like yeah. I didn't even yeah. touch him. I, I didn't even touch her, bro. Leave me It's really next sad year, what's happened. Next year, it's just going to become a bunch of dudes seen around playing Madden. Yes. They might as well just do that. that <laughs> well, I'm. I there are other people out there that have parroted this, but I am going to go on record myself saying it. The NFL has set themselves up for a massive fall, all uh, how baseball did from the '80s. Baseball was about three to four times larger than the NFL yeah. in the in the '80s and in the very early '90s. Three things that's going to kill it: one, this obsession with the offense and killing the defense two goodell because he's bitch made and you know that yes. fuck mm-hmm. and three betting because with sports betting if someone hits the spread just right doesn't hit it just right you know exactly what's going to be claimed because it was claimed a shit ton this year rigging yeah mm-hmm. rigging the game whether it be from the 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 teams because they need to hit a certain spread, whether it be because of the refs, because they have to hit a certain spread. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether if it, it actually happens or not. Swift. Those Chiefs games were rigged, bro. Hey, yeah. I was told Taylor Swift was saving the NFL. Do we really want the NFL saved by Swifties? Do we really <laughs> want that? Dude, there's, listen, no. because there's of the so Swifties, many women that like football. Kinzo like, does. To make more yeah, women. Kinzo does. <laughs> real quick, I'm going to give Devastator this. I'm going to give him this because I said uh, you're retarded if you like Attack on Titan. He he got me here. <laughs> when I hear people say they're Chiefs fans, 
you are retarded front runner <laughs> i don't ever remember there being this many gay chiefs fans you know what yeah. you got me on that one you got me on that one yeah so and you know baseball's in the same the same problem all the rule changes they've done over the past especially this past year putting a runner on second if you're going into extra innings all the interleague play basically the whole the whole separation between al and nl is gone and it's all just insufferable bitches although i have to admit as much as the people pay for baseball players there is no deal in any sports league ever as bad as what cleveland did for deshaun watson that is the single most ugliest massive dead cap hit both in real numbers and in term of your percentage that ever will exist and the best part is that some bitch if he does play he's going to get benched because he can't play worth a shit now he mm-hmm. is past he has gone past his expiry well he can't date. get his he can't get his massages anymore man how is he going to focus on the game exactly exactly <laughs> 65 million is the cap hit that they will take whether he plays or not whether he gets traded or not whether anything happens or not that is i don't know i don't remember the, the guy's name that owns the the browns but ever since that happened you mm-hmm. have seen other deals come about that are the other owners said no we are not doing that shit ever again no one should ever get that level of insane fully guaranteed ironclad that man could literally literally go out into the street rape pillage and murder and he would still get paid mm-hmm. yeah yep a lot of these hey, hey, too, bro. Hey, 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 hey. He was smart. He was smart. The Browns was You're right. Back in the his day. agent, his agent deserves every yeah. penny that he that he got from that. Because no one else in the history of any sports league has ever gotten that level of guarantee. Mm-hmm. Never. Fuck, so. even Patrick Mahomes doesn't have that level of no, guarantee. No, he doesn't. And Patrick Mahomes, like literally the MVP he gets a lot of, of fucking football money, right though. now, he gets a lot of sponsor money. But, but think about his sponsors. Where where do you really see Patrick Mahomes in like a lot of commercials? Is it Mahomes? I don't see him hardly everywhere. Huh? Is well, you also he also contract? plays more playoff games. Dude, he makes so much money on that fucking uh uh with the fucking the red shirt fucking insurance company people. State oh, Farm. State Farm. State Farm. State Farm. Yeah, yeah. That's a big yeah. sponsor. That, that that's yeah. his, that's really before that he had a uh, head and shoulders. Apparently he had yep. a ketchup fucking deal with some awesome because he yeah. loves ketchup, ketchup on everything. So he's yeah, a yeah, he's yeah. a sadist and masochist for that. So, but anyways, <laughs> gentlemen, I, yeah, I yeah, do yeah, need yeah. to catch up and and yeah. have fun. So thank you so very much. It was most enjoyable. Come back. Uh, yeah, definitely would love to come back. Shoot the shit with you guys again and yeah, and, uh, and nice lay more man. lay more weeb shit down for people and and show off more weeb shit. And oh you're yeah, more it's always back, fun. Right? So please Hail come back and talk sports again. Yeah, let's talk sports too. This no. is great. The I, there, no. I have so no. many facets to me that I don't talk about anymore because they become more or less unenjoyable, but I still keep mm-hmm. up with them. Sports being one of them. Of course, you know, Western television kind of oh, movies. I'm a I'm sports massive and movie buff bro. and it's sci-fi fan. So. so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I don't normally talk about, but if if you ask me, I'll let you know if I know anything, and if you like what I say, I'm more than happy to to yap about uh, something other than than the awesome weeb shit. So, hey, Aunt yeah. Brandon, you're more than welcome back. Well, thank you, I appreciate that, gentlemen. You have yourself a wonderful night, and uh, you know, be uh, be safe, stay frosty, and for God's sake, spread some democracy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, some liberty. Hi, hey, Brandon, great meeting oh, you, dude. What an outro. Yes. <sighs> Brandon's fucking awesome, by the way. Cool. Shout out to Brandon here. I'm going to give him a Oh, yeah. Who are the other side and of the pillow? With that, I will also have to abandon ship. Oh, so, oh, now that the guest's gone, you're leaving. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it's not okay. You usually don't take off around midnight anyway. So. Uh, 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 I didn't even realize. That. Before I say anything, uh, does this work? Is, is Does my voice sound different? Say something. Testing one, two. Testing, testing, yeah. testing. Sounds no. good. Okay. Yeah, I was no, testing he, around the he had, voice mod thing while while you guys are talking voice, weep so, shit. 
so the voice mod stuff doesn't really work that well. Yeah, sometimes I, yeah. it works for some people. It doesn't really. In order to get it to work, you essentially have to have voice mod on. You have to always. It, it's a fucking nightmare to get it to work. You have to yeah. have uh, the voice changer on, and you have to have the hear myself on. You have to have it linked up to the right way. It, it's a fucking nightmare. I, yeah, I hate I mentioned it. it before, and I thought I saw something where it looked like they fixed something, but clearly, yeah, it's fucking, it's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it is stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna take off. Uh, oh. Go ahead. Fucking miss Grant Gregory. That's not, not that, that hard, hard Dermot. F- fuck you, Grant. I I'm still trying to figure out my goddamn out. noise gate. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'll go on YouTube and see if I can figure it out. Uh, but that being said, yes, of course. Yeah, we got Skin Max Saturday from All Vets talking. Uh, Thursday, next Thursday, I think we're gonna do knife hands because the next Saturday we will not have Skin Max Saturday. At least I won't be there because I'll be on the road. Uh, but again, remember. Friday, the fr- uh, Friday after next, when we're all in Vegas, watch Friday Night Tights, and then come over to Vets Talking. We will be in studio immediately after Friday Night Tights, and then immediately after that, we'll be Ball Busters. So back to back to back. Friday Night Tights, it's going to match we'll Friday the- to Ball Busters, all in the same studio. It very so- easily might be the exact same crew just going for two hours. That's yeah. what it's probably going to be. It very well By could. The time ball bu- by the po- time ball busters come around, w- w- so, listen. By the time your show comes around, we're probably gonna be drunk. Let's be real fair here. The yeah. Ball <laughs> uh, God. I am trying to pull some strings to maybe get some of the FNT guys to hang around for at least a cameo on my show. Ooh, Fingers nice. crossed. I got Culture Casino. He's going to be guessing on, and he's trying to see if we can get some people on. So we'll see if that works. No guarantees, though. Uh, that being get, said, though, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much, Jeremy. Thank you. Uh, fun as always, gay it. shit. Uh, and uh, I'm out of here. I'm gonna get some sleep and then work my ass off on trying to get prepared for the trip tomorrow. Or then and then then play some spread some democracy. Obviously, we will do that tomorrow, not tonight for me. All right, see you guys. Love y'all. Except for you, Everybody. Dermot. Fuck you. Good night, bro. Ooh. Fuck you too. Ooh. You you know what? We we've been going for uh almost two and a half hours. Double use. Devil, devil. Yeah, I'm here. What time is Bielsa Pub again? Uh, it's at midnight. Uh, but I midnight probably here. need to go here in about ten minutes because yeah. I got early setup for it. So yeah, yeah. So we're only gonna go for a little bit longer. But I, I do want to hit these real quick. We got Seal Hunter coming in saying sup. How sup. you doing, Seal Hunter? Hey, Seal. And then uh, Mr. Grant Gregory for three months. It's now a sausage fest. Now all the women are gone. Yeah. <laughs> and they keep talking about s- s- spreading democracy. It sounds a little gay to me. I don't know. Spread them listen, off. Listen, I, told you, <laughs> I want you to plug you them know. holes, Dermy. I will plug them holes. Plug them I holes. throw that grenade every fucking time. I d- listen. Listen, today you you guys weren't there. Okay, I should I should start streaming when I fucking play with a. Uh, 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 Adam and all them. God I damn. was the one that, so that literally so carried so these fuckers for a little while. I was the one that saved their fucking asses. I was the only one left alive at one of the most crucial points because we were playing uh one of the level sixes areas over in Robots, and I'm carrying their fucking asses. I'm running around. All I have, <coughs> all I have is my literal revolver, defending my ass. I'm out of grenades. I'm out of uh. I, I can't bring down my uh, my rocket launcher. I'm all out of ammo for my breaker. That breaker is fucking amazing, but goddamn, I can tell how bad it is now. Yeah, you don't even know because I'm running out of ammo so, yes. so fucking fast. Oh, but the it's short... so goddamn. <laughs> I know it, it, it was my so heart. goddamn bad. That is tired of me bitching about it. <laughs> no, I'm I'm on shock <laughs> side. That thing needs at least an extra uh, two rounds of fucking ammo because so it goes by so fucking fast. Dude, um, it used to be a full auto with no recoil. <laughs> Alf, Alf, no. Fuck that, Alf. Get your ass on here. You know goddamn well if it wasn't for me, those fuckers would... Th- that fucking mission that you guys all failed because you took too, we, we took too long, uh, it would have been done a whole lot sooner because I got that first mission done. Defending it by myself with a goddamn revolver. I did that. Because I've been playing with Shock so much. I've been playing with Static. And I've been playing with Kel. I'm actually decent at the fucking game now. Not great. Oh, yeah. But decent. My accuracy throughout 
every mission was getting up to like 60s and 50s and stuff like that. Like I had great fucking accuracy with the goddamn breaker. It's so good. No. I think it's only good for the Okay, the that's robot, a little bit though. fair. Let's be fair it's here. Not good yes, against Rob the carries us as a level fucking 50, but uh real quick I got to hit these static if he liked women. Why am I <laughs> I've been here for 20 minutes. Why am I catching strays? Well, you're streaming my whole life, now. I swear. <laughs> for five dollars, by the way. Um, hey, that new Stellar Blade video game is neat. I have a secret boner that won't go away. Oh my, it's okay. This explains a lot. I was thinking that at some point Static and Shock are gonna get together so they can change their name to Static Shock. Oh like, <laughs> that's, that's a smart idea. That's a great idea. idea. Then Lofty Fairy for $1.99 says democracy Yo, is upgraded. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I don't that's that's a decent lofty take. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a decent lofty take. Listen, I know they're spreading democracy and hell and hell divers, but I usually say we're spreading liberty. We're bringing liberty. Bring like liberty. the democracy we're bringing liberty, spreading liberty. I'm fighting for a public, they, they, not democracy. They need a MAGA skin for for the, the divers. I mean, no. Yes. No, I mean, you're all red. Magra okay, right across the okay. Chest. All right, here, here's Listen. the thing. I, okay, look, 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 look. With, with Hell Divers, right? They did the thing with like put the Pride flag in, and they're like, you know yeah, what? Yeah. It's Super Earth. We want to be immersed into our world, right? Mm -hmm. So there's not even going to be like American flags or all that stuff. And when I was like, yeah, that's sick. But then on open bar, Drinker brought a great point up. If you brought Pride capes and maga capes and like american capes what if you like try to like squad up with randos and there's a pride flag and then everyone in the squad just blows the fuck out of you and kills yeah. you <laughs> exactly that would I actually know. be awesome <laughs> it would be awesome but at the same time i don't want that i, know, I, I want to either. defend super I earth I just that would be really I funny everyone bullies it would be it would be kid. fucking hilarious you're not wrong you you know damn well I'd yeah. be throwing that fucking I, I, if if it kills me I'd be throwing my goddamn barrages constantly. If the, and Kotaku would have all the fucking hate bait in the world. Yeah. Listen, oh, there was somebody no. that brought it up recently over on Twitter. They're waiting for the uh, hit piece against me, in which they call me a white supremacist, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, Fuck it. Let bring it on. Bring it on. I don't give a shit anymore. If they're gonna That's make you I'm run saying, around with I'm fucking capes on. The least they could do is let you put shit on them. That's worth it. So they are going to be bring. There is uh, discussions of them bringing uh, editing your armor, which please, for the love of fucking God, do because there's so many good helmets that just this is going to be the gayest thing I've fucking ever said. I doubt it all doesn't. Order. No, no, this is going to be this is going to be fucking gay, and I'll, I'll get it ready real quick. Um. Oh shit! It's not even set up right. But my, are you a homosexual? Uh, are you yeah. homosexual? Are you a homosexual? Yeah. Um. This is gonna be the gayest thing ever. The sole reason I don't use some of the helmets that I really like is because it doesn't match. It it doesn't mesh well with my uh, armor. It doesn't look good. It doesn't. I do the same thing. Color I'm, scheme I'm, yeah. and everything like that. <laughs> I can't hold that against you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, goddamn. I there's capes that I love the design of, but it just looks like fucking. I'd rather shit. look cool and get better than be overpowered and look like shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, the same way. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Because like I I changed my helmet today, and at least my helmet works a little bit with the armor set that I have. And the sole reason I changed it is because I was tired of looking exactly like both Alf and Kel. Because <laughs> we had the exact same armor. And it's like, you know what? I'm tired of this. What's the other armors that I have? Okay, I have an engineer's helmet that's orange. I'm going to put that on. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, would I need to find literally armor, any man. other helmet just so I can change up the colors. If I could yeah, change up the colors, we need the I'd colors. be fucking happy. Yeah, yeah, the color changing huge. is another thing. We need thing. more yeah. color changing. Did you see in Dragon's Dogma 2 where, like, none of us would have never experienced this because we're men of culture. Mm -hmm. But, like, in Dragon's Dogma, like, the taller your character is and the bigger they are, the better they are, obviously, because that's how the stats work. But Some, also they come with a drawback. 
Yeah, but for the that most part, okay. people are trying to optimize right their 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 squad and putting all guys in their squad. All the pawns make jokes on whether or not you're gay because there's no yep. women in the yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I would have never just I would have never found that out if that was in the first game. I always got a big titty archer or a big titty sorcerer. Every well, even, I don't know how you don't. Even in the first game, I would like I played as a girl. My guy was my teammate, but then I would my other two was always a major or an archer. Exactly, and you make I, him a hot I, chick. I a chick or guy. I use they. My mage always had healing spells, and my archer was either an archer or a ranger. That way, they were optimized. My my plan was always have a healer, never a sorcerer, because the sorcerers don't get healing spells. But a healer, a my go to guy was always the like the brute, and then. My my main pawn was always a brute, and then the other two, the other person was always a ranger. That way, I had something to help out, help out with me when I'm doing my. Actually, no, no, because I was always a magic archer. The other person was always a sorcerer. So I went with around with a mage mm. and a sorcerer. While my guy was the the uh, the berserker class, which because it, it goes fighter, warrior, so warrior. He was like the big brew to the club party and everything, and I was the magic archer because the everything. I want to play Dragon's fucking Dogma. Bro, I want to fucking play it. The uh, the magic sphere class is kind of a bitch class. Like if you use that, you're a bitch. It looks I so did. overpowered. Well, I'm gonna fucking use the magic spear class. You're a gay finally, am able to fucking play it. You can call me a bitch all you want. The gay it, it does actually come with a drawback. I was looking into it. Oh, really? it has no defenses. It's oh. solely offense. It doesn't matter There's if you no can just defense. twirl your little gay wand around well, so, and, and, and so you're staggers. Right. You to... It staggers and it's not yeah. ending, and you can put a fucking shield around you. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, but there's like no real defense, and the sole way to play it is you have to constantly be on the offense. You have to constantly move, yeah. move, 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 move. And then it does give you the ability to, uh, the stagger gives you the ability to teleport. That's oh. the whole point of the class. I love how the thief is Where... basically just fucking scorpion, and you can have a a, a, a grappling hook. Well, then you, you get a you fucking like, get over here. Uh, then you get the trickster class. That's like, who the fuck's playing trickster? Base who the people. literal fuck is playing like J Hailstorm? People... <laughs> yeah, J Hailstorm. <laughs> the only way the trickster class would work is if there was multiplayer. If it was multiplayer, there was a be there would be oh, a reason be to play. Those are not multiplayer. It's already a fucking live service game. Like <laughs> they they want it to be. Might as well just make a live service game, dude. Might as well make it live service. Might as well make it multiplayer. Literally, yeah. if you you if you add in, that's the sole reason they have the trickster class because the trickster class is all about buffing, debuffing, everything like that. So you have to always stay in the back. But there's no point. But your pawns are always NPCs essentially. So the computer is playing them the way they're designed and everything like that. So there's no real point in being a trickster unless you're playing with other players. So why ever be a trickster? It is one of the most pointless classes and they fucking knew they, they fucking nerfed my magic archer class. They fucking nerfed it. They nerfed so much. Fox. There's never a reason to be a magic archer now. Because the, the joys of magic archer was you could do basically like magical attacks via your close-up combat. So you could have like flaming blades and stuff like that. So you could be able to like defend yourself at, at the same time and then have overpower range attacks. Now it's just solely overpower range attacks. The moment somebody comes in yeah. close, you have nothing. There's I no know. Point. Archers are ar archers are pointless again. Well, the Strider was too overpowered. <laughs> tits over meta, yeah. Tits. Tits over go, meta. I, I, yes. uh, no, this is how you play it. Okay, this is how you play it. Your character is the tits character. Your meta character, because of how you get everything. Your pawn is the meta. That's how it has to be. Yep. Then, uh, Clifton says he want he wants to play too. Clifton, shock, shock did a video. Huh? He used some of my gameplay because I allowed him. <laughs> Watch my loading screens, dude. Like I had to like write in subtitles for context because mm -hmm. your screen was black for like two minutes straight, and I was talking about how you couldn't play it, and you just sat there looking so miserable. 
It was so funny. I was dead inside. You were just so sad. And it's like, yeah, this doesn't fucking work on most 30 series when it really should work on 30 series. <laughs> it was not playing. Like, I, I showed people in my uh, stream how I have to play the game. Oh, God, yeah. In the window. It was a box. It, Adam. Adam. Huh? Adam, I want... Mm. How, how do you have the screen? game? I don't care. No, no. I want. I want. I want to ask you real quick. How what? how do you have the uh, stream pulled up right now? Like, do do you have it full screen or do you have it like? I'm on. I'm in Streamyards. Well, no, on Streamyards because you can full screen and everything. Yeah, I've have got the screen and I have the chat. Yeah, yeah. But I'm doing something um, else because I'm. I don't care about the game. So. No, but what I want to tell you right now is, what? you know how the screen looks right now with the chat and everything. You know that white box and everything, or boxes smaller and stuff. Yeah. That's how I have to play Dragon's Dogma, in that exact size of box. That's how I was playing Power World when we were playing it. Yeah, but if I bump up the scale at all for Dragon's Dogma, it crashes my computer. Well, same with sucks. Power did the same thing to him though too. <laughs> yeah, but no, that's why if it, I was it, playing, I'd be on my places Five, but I ain't paying Sony. Uh, for goddamn PlayStation Plus, so that ain't happening. It 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 broke my. Besides, broke my I'm gonna finish Rebirth in a few days, and then I'm gonna start playing 12. I mean 14. 14. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to 14. I've been in 14. Most. I'm gonna go back to Dragon's Dogma here. All right, I'm guys. I'm gonna. I got a dip. Weeks. Yeah, I gotta go we're to bed. Night. Let's end the show. Yeah, we're we're about to wrap this up. Have a good night, Devil. By the way, do your outros. Tell people where you're gonna be. Um. In a, a little over an hour, I'm going to be over on Bielsa Hub doing Bielsa Pub. We are doing our trivia night. This should be really fun. Sam's done a ton of work setting it up. Uh, we have a bunch of people on there. Um, God, who? Uh, Horam Murata. Larry's going to be on there. We've got who else? Uh, Paul Grant Kray, uh, Kratos is going to be there. Nomi's going to be there. Uh, True Pop, I believe. Uh, a lot of people. And you didn't ask me, well, because you, you don't know anything, dude. You can't <laughs> tell me a wrestler that was more than 20 years ago. You think I'm gonna trust you to do trivia? You <laughs> don't know, you know, literally, there could be this random question. There, there literally, the most literally, random question, there's gonna be some random question about a lady boy, it. and he'll know it. Yeah, no, I, it I'm sure Sam like, made a category called gay stuff. No, there could be a question <laughs> about the. The fall of uh, the Russian Empire or something like something the most out of the box fucking thing, and I'll come in there and go like, "Yeah, it was because of communism due to the uh, uh, of overpowered beings of the czars at the time, due to Tsar Nicholas uh, like pl overplaying his hand, treating everything like garbage, uh, uh, stuff like that." Can you put that in the form of a question? Anyway, <laughs> but come over there and check. What it is Tsar fucking Nicholas? <laughs> Come over there and check it out. Uh, also, check out every Wednesdays we've got uh, Wrong Think over on the hub. Uh, and uh, Get Ranked This Week is going to be the best baby faces of wrestling, the golden era. Uh, ETEP made the list, essentially. So it you know it's going to have a lot of things. He finally got back to me, so I'm putting that together. I will have the pay how, uh, how, how close were we in, in, in changes? Uh, he put a lot on there that I did not suspect would be on there, but I trust him. He's an expert on wrestling. The man was a wrestler, so I will take his word for it. So and that's probably the, gonna. Well, go so they, at the exact same time that uh, uh, the, everything's going on, I'm gonna be playing video games because uh, I know jack fucking shit of the '80s because I wasn't fucking born. Yeah, he he's gonna be chaos as he always is. On well, get ranked I mean, this week. Jeremy, that's not an excuse. I wasn't born in the 80s, but I still know a lot about it. I was born in the well, 80s, and I don't know fuck all about them. Fuck the thank 80s. you, Static! Yeah, but you think they're all muscular men, so you think Dermy would have looked into it and got the knowledge, but whatever. You, you, you uh, think that, <laughs> but that's because you think I'm a bottom. I like my thin boys. But... If you do go over there, I am going to be drinking, which is kind of stupid to do when I'm trying to actually win uh, <laughs> on trivia. But I'm trying to get donations. If I can get up to probably mm. about 150, I'm going to get a tattoo. I'm not going to get something stupid like Dermy's name on my wrist or some shit. But I am going to get a tattoo yeah, and I'll show cringe. it. 
I will show it on Ball Busters Live. You can see the tattoo on my forearm right before uh, Nomi waxes them uh, because oh, I'm an idiot. That's Wait, what is she waxing? hell. What is she waxing? Oh she is my waxing God. my forearms. I'm going to get a tattoo on the bottom, oh, that's but not she's going to. She's yeah, she's gonna bad. rip the hair off the top. So uh, yes. unless you're a damn Wolverine, that's not gonna be a big deal at all. <laughs> it's still gonna hurt, you're, man. <laughs> no, 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 but, out static sex. He's gonna get a tattoo on his forearm and then he's gonna wax it. Oh no, because they'll shave it before the, they'll the shave the bottom. Yeah, it's gonna be on the bottom, time, but it's still gonna hurt gonna be so when they rough. rip the skin on the top. When they pull the skin on top, it'll it's hurt. It's still that gonna tattoo. hurt a fuck ton. <laughs> In fact, I have a sneaking suspicion that people are going to be like, are you stupid when I tell them the, you the are tattoo stupid. artist? I, I thought this was um, the pro-democracy fan club. We're not uh, dem pro-democracy. We're pro-liberty. But <laughs> liberty. I will see you guys later. Hope to see everybody over there. Night, everybody. Mm. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait. Devastator. Get Derby's name on your wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you should be banned from the chat, dude. I don't know. Who no, I love that. <laughs> Listen, I got him. He got me. He got you. I love this. I love Devastator. I hope he watches my videos from now on. I love this. Bye. Bye, Bye buddy. We do need to start wrapping this up, even though Alf just came in. Because yeah. uh, at least two of three of us on a panel need to go spread some liberty. Time for a glass of liberté. Yeah, I'm going to go do time. that, too. You guys got room for another? Uh, we have Kel right now, but you can come into <sighs> our chat with us. All right. Listen, li listen. If things go south, like if if shock all of a sudden needs to go away, and yeah, you know, I was gonna say you court. were saying you carried the team when it was it was it was Big Rob. It was carrying. No, no, ninety no, percent of the time. Ninety percent of the time. Ninety percent. No, actually, here, here, here. Alf, <laughs> Alf, Alf. Here. Let's let's be real honest here. Out, Big Rob 100% carried us, but we have to cut Big Rob out of the equation because Big Rob is fucking <laughs> level 50. He's going around there like fucking surviving 24 fucking 7. Uh, I, ways that, that I've never been able to figure out. It, it, it's That it's dude plays insane. a lot more than any of us. <laughs> like static shock. <laughs> the guy barely dies in a mission. If Shock, you're muted, by the way. Shock you muted. It's little his little bear head's moving, but he's <laughs> your, muted. Your, your head's <laughs> moving, but you're muted. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> you're still muted. Here, let me try this. No, I can't unmute you. You have to unmute yourself. <laughs> Watch the head move again. <laughs> I'm waiting for the head to move. Waiting, oh, you I'm know what? He for... might. Maybe he's talking to someone else in the room and doesn't want us. Ah, uh, yeah, he might be muted because oh, he's talking to point. someone. That, 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 be... That's a valid point. He might be talking to his wife. But anyways, no static, static. I can think I can count on one hand the amount of times Rob died total okay. in our amount of times that we played. I mean, it, today. it's it's to be expected for someone who's got to level fifteen. You're playing on level. What uh, hardness of what we were on hardest we were on was level six. Yeah, we were on level six. So yeah, he's got more skills and abilities plus experience. So yeah, it's it's to be expected. Yeah, it's to be expected. But let let's oh, take is... bullshit. What? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, totally off topic. Something just came across. All right. Finish you finish finish that, and then I'll I'll right. I want your quick opinion right. on this. Finish what you're saying. Sorry. Okay. Uh. If you take Rob out of the equation, besides Rob, who the fuck <laughs> Derby's was, like... was possibly the number one guy? <laughs> Let's be real fair here. Who was the number one guy? Well, it's obviously was not Adam because he's... Oh, God, no. Still Dude's like still a level ran... seven. <laughs> Can I ask Dude you guys still something? fucking ran into the goddamn I forgot explosions. to ask, you, ask him while he was here. Why, when he's streaming, is he dead center on his screen when he's gaming, streaming the game? I meant to ask him that. Which stream cool? are you watching? No, well, I, well, whenever I see his stream come up for Helldivers, he's dead center in his screen instead of when he's streaming it. I'm just you mean wondering his camera. Yeah, him, like him, him. Oh, I don't know. He's uh, the, the times I've seen it, he's usually off to the side. 
Hmm. No, whenever I whenever I see him, he's like right center of the oh, screen. I, I just know. wonder if you guys knew. I meant to ask him that, but I you weren't. Talking I you might not know here. about it. I think I, tonight I tonight he was streaming on Rumble and Kick. I had the Vets Talking YouTube channel and my channel. Yeah, because the one I saw, he was dead center in the screen. I'm like, does he? Why is he doing that? That's that's you're, weird. You're, yeah. <laughs> weird, 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 weird. He's weird. It's really weird. Holy! All shit. I know is that I I. I I fucking carried us tonight. There was that <laughs> perfect moment tonight. You're the pack like, mule. Okay, yeah. Dermy, I, I, one I more we say, here. Dermy, I will say you carried us for one, one or two missions. <laughs> one or two missions, yeah, and we did yeah. like three. All right, Dermy, I, I wish I had seen this while Brandon was here, but I got to do this. Mm -hmm. She's not black. Block. Block. Like, like big tit fire wait, chief from, from 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 fire force. She's not black. I don't know what the fuck she is. Wait, wait. I'm I'm trying to read this. Okuboku uh, Oku Oku really went four out of four, creating the best black characters in anime. Oh, okay. So she's not black. No, she's not black. She's tan. She's like she's really just, fucking she, tan. Yeah. I know. She's, just, she's like Asian tan. Yeah, I mean she's not black. Yeah. I hate this shit. Fucking tourists. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You're not wrong there. She's not black. She's tan. Yeah. If she was black, she would look completely different. They would actually get. Listen, listen. They like to complain a lot about black hair. Black needs to be. Oh, and her hair's all straight. Yeah, they can have the straight yeah. hair. Mm -hmm. They would give her black fucking hair. Yeah, you're they right. wouldn't yeah. give her straight hair if she was a black. She's hair. not a fucking fro. Black. Yeah. yeah. Black. No, she wouldn't I... have a fro. She would have dreads because they're they they don't do fros that much in anime. Rarely. rarely, yeah, very rarely they do froze. They'll give them usually like uh dreads, they'll give them like a stylized mm -hmm. dreads, they'll right. give them like really fucking curly hair. They would give them like accurate hair for Ooh. who they need to be. Very fucking rarely are they gonna give a black character straight fucking hair. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, I, just, I just saw that shit. I'm like, oh god damn it, she's not fucking black. I hate that shit. Fucking tourists trying to ideologically push this shit in anime, which isn't there. Well, I didn't even read the article this week, but I heard about it. You did a uh, discussion mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the, FF person... or the FF Rebirth thing? Yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck ever thought Barrett was comic relief? He's not. Comic I don't know relief. where the fuck that came from. I've never yeah, thought that. And also, and, and also, Zaz is a shit character, too. He's a shit character. He's not good. He was from 13. Yeah, he was thirteen. Yeah, I he had a fro. I played, I played. Oh like, yeah, the and he I, had know, the little I know. Chocobo living in it. <laughs> yeah, I I played I, like the so first mission of set. Uh, 13. He was the, the only reason I wanted to play it was because everybody I'll, got their unique. I'll tell you this: but... that, that that the whole comment about Barrett and, and I'm a, somewhat of I'm mostly a newbie to seven. I played. Uh, I've done two or three streams on it. Never finished the mm -hmm. game yet. Barrett, the way I he came across to me is he just cared about his daughter. Uh -huh. That's yeah. all he cared about was oh, having yeah. a better life for yeah, her. He, they ham it he up cares, even more in Rebirth. Mm -hmm. He cares about his mission, and he fucking cares about his daughter. The adopted only time... Daughter. Adopted huh? daughter. Right, right. But, but it's still his I, daughter. Adopted yeah. daughter, but I would say... He, I mean, he's... Well, you really, have to bring bro, it up. I mean, look, you have the whole yeah. dying situation. You have to make sure you understand. He's Mr. That. T with a gun arm. He's an action star. Yeah. He's a badass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a fucking badass. He cares about... Marlene, he, who yeah. I would say is but his he, daughter. It but is he has his daughter. A, he has, his he has a heart. He cares yeah. about his daughter, his adopted yeah. daughter, mm -hmm. but he cares about her. Yeah. And that's Literally, he, oh, the yeah. only time he is ever treated as comic relief, air, quote unquote, is in the fucking Abridge series by Team Four Star. And even then, they still give him the proper character development and stuff. And it's like, he's more than just comic relief he's an actual yeah. character but it's at a bridge series where everybody's like comical yeah so it's like saying he's comic relief what did you fucking watch what, what how have you interacted in you, you have to read the article i mean i didn't do great you ready for this jeremy look at that there, oh, there, no. there's no. comic relief right there oh, oh my god why did you do this to me because That's i'm being fuck. mean on the way i'm being mean barrett, on the way out the door tonight you, you know what you know what barrett this is what barrett would do to this guy he would take his gatling gun and he would please, he would please shoot Igatwa. He would please shoot Igatwa for about maximum fury. 
Fuck this. Period. Share but, my but, screen. Adam, Adam, Adam. Get this he off. He would shove that Gatling gun up his ass first. Pleasing Shudi Gatwa. Oh my god, I've never I'm been being mean on the way out before. the door tonight. And then do Maximum Fury. Yeah. Yeah. And then Oh. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. This is cool. What, wait, wait, what? Yes. That's Eve. That's Stellar Blade. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are all over the place. I mean, this these is are great. everywhere. These are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The jiggle physics are amazing. They, they are, are fantastic. They are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I loved when uh is it Kirsch? Kirshen? Kieran? Kirsh? 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 On side scores goes like, yeah, give me jiggle physics just like a freaking uh, uh, VTubers. And she starts like jumping up yeah. and down and stuff. And I'm like, nah, honey, honey, your jiggle physics are nothing compared to this. Yeah. This is like true jiggle physics. Dude. I'm a, so, so far during the demo, I am a, a Tachi supremacist. <laughs> Tachi is my waifu. <laughs> Dim Diddy Fizz. Oh, God, no. That's a woman, Listen, Kratos. We are Dim all, Diddy Physics. That's a woman. We, we are going to be all goddamn degenerates by the time this game That is over. not, this, the, Diddy would not be interested in this. So, I don't want to fucking loop. How long I don't, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to know anything about the story because. What if it does come out for PC? Uh, well, I think you're going to have to do a very delicate long. dance. You're just going to have to do a delicate dance. I'm going to have to do, do a very delicate dance because if it does come out for PC, oh, I don't want to be spoiled. I don't want to know about the characters. <laughs> I I, I want to go in like raw. Then going, <laughs> me too. Fucking raw. Oh, yeah, you like do. That. <laughs> yeah, I, I, both both <laughs> contexts of raw. But no, raw. I'm not gonna. I just wanted I to see if the gameplay looked good or if it looked cheesy. I think the gameplay looks pretty good. It, well, like I've seen, bit, the, I've seen the fight scenes and stuff. I I, I like the game. It's not as hardcore cool. as Metal Gear Rising, so it's a bit more entry level. It Here's doesn't thing, look too uh, I, I, complicated. The, uh, from what I'm hearing, people are talking like that. It's the demo. It's the opening stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm gonna yeah. wait for the and full game. When I've seen <laughs> like the clips, even before the demo dropped, how I view it is. Mm, because I haven't played Metal Gear Rising, I see it more kind of like a Bayonetta. Like oh, very I haven't fast played paced, Bayonetta. Very, very oh. more platformy. It's very platformy. Was it, was it extra Bayonetta. zero? Someone was saying it was more like Jedi Fallen Order. What? Who the? F extra zero. No, it's like Jedi why... Fallen Order. No, that's no Jedi Fallen Order the, is Jedi... like Dark Souls wannabe. It is Dark, not. it's like a light version of Dark Souls. It like oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a super Jedi Fallen Dark Souls. Like there's maybe two really fucking hard fights in Jedi Fallen Order that even I have to admit I had to tone down the uh, difficulty for. It was after you get the dual blades and you have to go up against that fucking hulking sister it's like motherfucker she she's a fucking cunt i had to turn down the difficulty and even then i did have difficulty like she was hard but then after that i bumped it back up to hard started barreling through like it's not that difficult of a game yeah pretty hard it, it it's really <laughs> not the only yeah i'm pretty hard <laughs> i mean <laughs> Listen, before we, before we place in Hell Divers, I do have to go use the bathroom, and it might be a 30, 40 minute wait because I'm um, shocked. Can you please send me this in uh, DMs? I think Bug retweeted it, so I found it. <laughs> uh, send me the link. Sure. <laughs> when I pulled it up. Okay. Dude, there, dude, dude, there are like 5 million clips like this. Uh, from all this is, a, this is the best one. It's just. Uh, Super jiggly. It, I love how this best you get one, the skin suit. Jiggles. You get the skin yeah. suit right off the bat, and you get less health with it. So it's, it's got no like, shields. It's, it's a very no rewarding low tier cosmetic, and I love that. Listen, when I play, if if I ever get a chance to play this game, I'm playing it in skin suit. Fuck. Oh yeah, Re Dermy, you realize it has it. no shields. No one wants to are see you. Are you good enough suit. to survive with no shields? Oh no, I'm not good enough to survive with no shields. Then you're never going to get it at probably the first level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. Get good, I'm bitch. Play. I'm gonna get good. Dermy can't good. get good. <laughs> Possible. Now I want to play it and just play it on the skin suit. Oh yeah. yeah I kind of want to do that. If we're gonna I, do this, I, I, I do personally that. don't like. I, I think the skin suit's a little too shiny. It makes it yeah. look. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. Cloud. I... Uh oh. 
I was what looking now? through my DMs because I'm waiting for sh for shock, but sometimes Cloud sends me memes. Cloud, I don't want to oh, pull this God. up, but at the same time, I kind of have to. <laughs> this is fucking funny. It is fucking Do funny. Do it. Do it. Here, I'm going to open it. the image in a new tab. That way were we you, can... Hey, were you going to show that video I sent you? Uh, Fuck, which one? The, the Paul Hadouken one? Oh, I have that video. I, I have that video. I have it uh, right, right, right here. Uh, fuck, where I just literally had it. What the fuck happened to it? Oh yeah, I pulled it up here. Um, I, I was waiting for him to show up in chat. To be honest, <laughs> I He's it, but, uh, Static's like, dude, that is not a bussy. <laughs> a back pussy. That's what a back talk. 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 <laughs> Oh, I was I had I was creeping at that time. <laughs> he was streaming. Nice. He said called back it a back taco. taco. I remember that because he he's like, back we'll see. I'm like, I'm like, what does he mean? He's like back taco. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's the the your king said back taco. Oh, bro. Back taco wins over back. Of, have you had cream but here, tacos, so man? I'll I'll fully. I mean, I cream my tacos all the time. Oh, but, uh, God. Oh, send me this. Cloud, please stop. Cloud, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you sent me this. I didn't read your message, but I had to pull this up because it's funny. What the? Stop from Blabs. Stop simping. But if you are, here's my throne link. <laughs> oh, God. I'm I'm a I said I feel I'm like being called out. <laughs> Did she tag you? No. <laughs> no, it's over on Instagram. It's on her story, obviously. Uh, but I'm like, you know what? <laughs> wow. I have to. Bla Blabs is one of those people stories. that she's a degenerate, but she's a weird level. De she's like a Blabs is level. awesome, dude. She's she's so like funny. a mid tier degenerate. <laughs> okay, she, mid tier as in she's funny. She knows what she's saying. She's she's dirty in her own way. She knows something, but things, it's but very shocked. Yeah, she knows some things, but not everything. Oh, and God. then you get things like this. It's like, come on. You, you have to give her a co compliment for this. Like, for fuck's sake, she threatens people to sign up for Instagram and everything. Or else she'll, like, slap you, step on you, like, beat you <laughs> up. And then she tweets this I mean, out. It's like, come on. To be come fair, on. someone did Super Chat today and say, Blab, I love you, marry me. Yeah. No, that was, was Melanie. It was, it was you, wasn't it? No, that was towards Melanie. <laughs> no, that was towards no, Melanie. I, someone, someone did Melanie, but someone also did Blabs, too. Oh, my God. They did it again? Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Dude, Melanie and Matt could totally do, like, a, like a cameo where she just calls you a bundle of sticks and tells oh you to my... turn off. <laughs> okay, I seriously, so have to, money. I seriously have to use the bathroom. What I will say is... Even Jay said she needs to start a cameo after that video she posted today. Yeah, I fucking love that video. She needs to start a cameo. I will pay for her to call me the goddamn N word just uh, because I find it hilarious. Yeah, I have to go to use the bathroom. Accurate. Unfortunately, huh? I think cameo would kick her off. Yeah, cameo wouldn't yeah, let it work. Cameo would have would kick her off. I want her to yell at me the F slur. I want her to yell at me, but I want to do a street like record a video. We'll post it on fucking uh you Twitter. I want her to stare down, stare at me, and just call me the F slur over and over again, so I, I can look at her, and simply say, "Yeah, love ya." Okay, yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love ya. Bye. Just because I think it would piss so many fucking people off. I think it would go fucking viral for oh, her, dude. You, and you at the same time. See the people that's like, oh my gosh, she called a guy. She, th th this guy is who, who, who's LGB is, is just taking it. It's like, oh, yeah, that's how dude. you're fucking supposed to do it because you know she might not like, like your lifestyle and shit, but it's okay that she doesn't fucking like your lifestyle. Oh, you got under some, you can go ahead and go to the bathroom. I'll talk about the, the yeah. incident today or yesterday, whatever it was, when the, you got under the guy's skin. Yeah, I got under that guy's skin. I know. Yeah, that was great. That was yesterday, and it went on through today. Yeah. It, it, like, it, he was so upset that you, you were LGBT, and he was like, you're, you're just friends with people who hate you. And it's like, you don't understand how we work. We we hate him, but we hate him because he's, he's a jackass. Right. 
but he's our friend. It's, it's that kind of friendly hate, you know? <laughs> like Adam says, he's our jackass. Yeah, he's our jackass. It's, you it, make fun of him, we'll go after you, but, you know. It's never been about skin color. It's never been about oh, identity. It's, it's been just about, he's are dirty. you compliant? <laughs> no, no, like the LGBT community, it's all about compliance. It has exactly. nothing to do with identity. Yeah. But that for Rope us, this guy compliance. thought that we hate him, you know, because he's LGBT. Yeah. It's like, that's not it. We hate mm -hmm. him because it's fun to call each other fags and dipshits. Oh, yeah. Bust them <laughs> balls. And his example, and I, and I didn't see this, but his example was like, look at all the conservatives mad at the Babylon Bee for making fun of white supremacists, and now everyone's mad at them. And I'm like, what the what? fuck are you even talking about? What the fuck are like, you talking about? <laughs> Jackass. Like, <laughs> that, that doesn't make any damn sense. These people live in a fucking bubble. They can't see past the color of their own skin and what they... What genitalia they like to rub their genitalia up against. Well, it, there's gray they're, area, and they don't see it. They're so fucking simple-minded. They, they, they don't see... So, we live in a world where comedy can't exist because it makes yep. fun of people. Because yeah. it, people are so thin-skinned these days. They can't see a friendship where friends mock the living shit out of each other but that's how friends work at least guy friends we mock the living shit out of each other that's just how it works i mean you, you know, all mock the shit out of me every day and if we step over the line we deal with it but other than that you know guys make fun of each other that's just how guys are <laughs> they don't see that it, it, you know and especially these uh uh limp-wristed you know beta males that are around today they can't take a little ribbing every now and then from you know other guys they see it as you know they, they just can't take it you know yeah they, yeah they, they wear much. everything on their sleeve it's because you know they didn't have a world war ii they didn't have a vietnam they, they like we That's live in i've said i've said that for years he i said humanity I, they didn't, I didn't have, have world war ii I had a yeah, desert had storm that interrupted the Muppet Babies, which pissed had, me the fuck off. I but know, but you it, had it's, Bush. <laughs> it, it's that's a, that's a good point. Is what's the saying? Great men make uh, great good times. So, yeah, good times or something like that. And you go. Strong great men make great times. Great times make weak men. You weak had men make bad times. Several generations bad that didn't have you had, bad you had, times make dirty. Because of the country yeah. was so well off, you had several generations that didn't have uh -huh. that great event to. You know, establish where they're at, and and you know, set their uh, their mark on. Okay, life is shitty at some point, mm -hmm. and so they they look they're looking for that, and they're looking for everywhere they can, and they're making up this race war that they think is there that's not there anymore, but they're stoking the fires of. That oh no, war. it's back. They brought it back. Yeah, it's yeah. back. It's they funny. brought it back. Because they wanted it, they wanted. But it something... doesn't look like it did last time. No, that's for damn sure. <laughs> that's true. Uh, real quick, I know we need one. Thank you for subscribing, Dark Art Sojourn. Sojourn. Who summoned her? Sojourn. Wait, wait, wait. There's a there's a not so horny elf that's tipping yeah, five dollars. <laughs> not so horny elf just tipped five dollars. Thank the, you. And the, says the, the celibate elf. Yeah, well, yeah. That, well, that's uh, he why says, he's up so late because he's not sleepy. Yeah. Uh, better late than never. Finally making an appearance right at the end of the show. My dick usually resembles Alf's nose. I can never get it up. Now Jesus. in the show, so <laughs> so can get off. I love that. Not so horny. I, if I didn't know any better, I think that Adam would have done that. But I know Adam isn't going to give you any money. I don't so. know. I don't give. No. Him. He, he just you know. You. I giving you my fucking money. I don't. Yeah. I don't. No, the other Adam. No, yeah, that's he true. ain't giving money either. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, he, bring it on. I don't care. I, I don't give a shit. I, yeah, I don't give a shit. Literally, no, that that's the whole point of why the the whole Melanie Mac idea came through my head. Don't give a shit. Just don't. People are going to hate you. People are going to dislike you. People are going to disagree with you. Don't give a fucking shit about it. This is exactly something I've tried to teach my kids. I have five kids. They get under each other's skin all the time. And I try to tell them, it's like, because one tries to annoy the other. And I'm like, uh -huh. you realize if you ignore them, you're not giving them what they want. They want to see the reaction of you getting under their skin. Don't give them that. 
you know? Mm -hmm. So if you're not yeah. acting, if you don't give them the reaction they want, it pisses them off. I have Where's a question for a dad yeah. with five kids. Yeah. Has your has your <laughs> has your kid ever like told a funny joke to the other kid and you had to like try not to laugh <laughs> because you didn't want to like I, I don't know if I'd say kids feeling. I don't know if I'd say joke, but I've I've had incidents where I had to like <laughs> turn away and laugh, you know, to the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm like I'm gonna like bully my kids, dude. I'm gonna laugh at them all the time. <laughs> You're gonna give your son, a, your son or daughter, a goddamn complex. Yeah, I know. But we we need to wrap it up. Uh, by the way, Kratos El Gratos says over on Rumble, every single person on this panel took some shit today and took it well. It's been hilarious. The, I, I I have to disagree. The only person that didn't take it well was Cloud. He freaked out. Mike Cox stayed straight the whole time. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Steve Cox stayed straight. What did I freak, straight. What did I freak out about? <laughs> you got a little butt hurt. Because you always get butthurt and start laughing and you 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 know in your weird way when we had a Cloud's favorite porn bot and Cloud's shrine to blabs. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can I, hear your blushing through the screen. <laughs> you must have flew quite a distance to go to the UK to get a strand of her hair for your shrine. Yeah, <laughs> Cloud got it twice. No, I, <laughs> you what are you talking about? She lives in Guam. Oh, it's fucking Kratos oh you know where day. she was. <laughs> wow, dude, wait, stop static, digging the hole. static. No, no, the these hole. are the legitimate <laughs> characters. These are legitimate people. Cloud, stop digging in the goddamn hole. Cliff, <laughs> Cliff says Full Metal <laughs> Alchemist <laughs> still sucks. <laughs> Night, y'all. Night, Cliff. <laughs> yeah, Full Metal Alchemist does suck. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is awesome. So, <laughs> Full Metal, I, I can say Full Metal Alchemist doesn't suck. FMB is goaded compared. Full I that I can agree with. I have Full to watch FMB. Is good. It's the real story. Full Metal Alchemist uh, I will Brotherhood watch the OG is a yeah. thousand times. Well, better. Shock, we're gonna get you on when when we do that. Shock, you are the guinea pig. Yeah, so. Shock, you're and not. We'll, we're gonna to re watch. Listen, Shock, Shock. Well, I watch it once a year. So, Shock, you're not allowed to watch it till we get you on because we are gonna relive watching it through you. Wait, so I thought you told me to watch the original first and then wait for Brotherhood. Well, you could watch. Listen, listen, Adam's, watch gonna, Adam's gonna Adam's no. gonna freak out. Okay, no, no, the way I'm I not gonna you. freak out the, because I watched Adam's it gonna first get, before the other one. I'm just saying they Adam's don't work gonna together. get mad the way both Kratos and I agreed at how to watch. Well, it. I've seen a lot of Brotherhood like kind of out of order, but I've never saw like the the first L one. Listen. Shock, shock. No, listen, How, listen. I'm gonna no, say, no, no, no. They're, they're, listen, I won, the, I won that ladies, fight. Ladies, panel. You won that fight, fight but Kratos <laughs> agreed with me, and Kratos is the one that pays my bills. Shock's like, Kratos ladies, the there's enough for <laughs> me to go around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's enough of me to go around, ladies. This is right. What, what I will say is, you can watch, I, I, I actually disagree. Don't watch Full Metal Alchemist just yet. Wait till don't watch Brotherhood just yet. I want to relive watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood through you for the very first time. I want to re relive these moments. I want to go through this again, but I want to do it through you like this. What, what's the term? Vicarious. Vicariously. Vicariously. You know, Thank I, you. Because I, I, I I'm looking forward to when Craig rewatches. Uh, I, Craig watches. Every single Lord of the Rings extended cut. For exactly, I can see. Oh, did no, you fucking uh, see what I, Melanie no. did? Melanie told him to watch the the, the theatrical first. No, no, there was a bunch Fuck. of people that actually said, "You know what? This is the one time I'm gonna agree with the uh, yeah. uh, uh, Adam. Uh, watch the theatrical cut." No, fuck that. Fuck that. Sit your ass down. Watch well, those fucking you know, four hour dude, movies. The theatrical all fucking three. confusing. As okay, hell. hold on, hold on. There, there's a chance that maybe because Craig does have a slight attention problem when it comes to watching movies. That's why I don't watch want him to... 30 minute bits. Well, he does that for a very specific reason. Criminal. He he does that because that's the only free time he has. He could because he actually does do like a fuck ton of work. Yeah, because well, if it's a be... watch party on locals, he gets paid to do it. Like, right. You know, he, one, he gets paid to do it. Two, it is like. It's a job. He does. Have you seen do like how a lot much money reaction stuff. channels make? Oh yeah, yeah but he's gonna he be doing... even have to say shit. You just have to have boobs. He's just doing this over on locals because that's the only yeah. place you can actually react to this. I'm like, just saying, live. If you, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, to say, 
from scratch, if you wanted to start up mm -hmm. a new channel, and you could even pretend you haven't seen it, but you could start a new channel and just be a reaction channel. That's all you do is oh, watch yeah. new stuff. They may, they get subs like crazy and make tons of money. Oh, they're all watching like mm -hmm. debates from 2016 with well, like no, no, I'm ben talking Shapiro like just even movies. Shit. Yeah, the yeah, movies. Of, the amount of I'm like, sorry. Loki Vader. My, my integrity would not allow me to do that. My I know, I know, listen, I know. I, I'm just saying. I'm about to. I'm about to violate my integrity. I'm. I'm about to violate my integrity on Monday. Just <laughs> integrity. What I've already you violate your integrity all the time. Adam. No, no. Um, <laughs> Al, I've already told. I've already told Adam what I'm planning for Monday. Okay. Um, I encourage this. He oh really? It. Yeah, he encourages oh, it. Really? Oh really? I'm gonna be violating really? my integrity 100 percent for a very specific reason. Your integrity. It's April Fools. That, that that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, all right. Holy that's... shit, dude! Ron just summoned Jack Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Jack Murphy's here. Right. He just summoned his ass. Right. He was like, "You're right. you're a derby, <laughs> FMA series sex in general." Oh, oh, this is Ron. I love Monica <laughs> Ron and Jack Toya. Murphy. And Jack no, Murphy. No, no, this is Ron Toya. You guys know who Ron Toya you, is? You mean Ron Soye? Yeah, Ron Soye. You guys know who Ron no Soye clue. is? Ron no. Soye is the eternal fiance to Monaco Real. The Monaco current Real Lisa bitch Oma. boy. He's a bitch boy. When Nick Riccata played uh, what Cuck Simulator. He named, <laughs> that's who he he modeled it after is Ron Ron what? Toye. That's yes, amazing. the most soyest of soy cucks there is. Well, maybe I do know him because I do remember a cuck simulator and the dude it was based off of. Listen, I didn't know his name. Nick Riccata, <laughs> Nick Riccata has a playlist of him reacting to the uh, Vic Mignogna de uh, oh depositions. Oh, I remember this guy. Yeah, he's okay. the he's the guy that literally has no no chance. <laughs> You know, it's like the first channel is like, yes, I love Monica Real. Just I love transition. Him. I'm, I'm oh pro. I'm pro transitioning. I'm just just transitioning. Bro. He is right, the most the show. Soyous, soyous <laughs> the there is. He's <laughs> an awful human being. Well, I, wanna, I love Monica I gotta, and Jack I Murphy. Get up in the morning. I, gotta get uh, I love you too, Roddy. <laughs> Then go. But we do need to end the show. No. Let, let's almost, go around and we're do over the three hours. We're done. We, we are. We're way over. Th we're almost we're three. Still and a half playing. Hours. It's we're, late. It is. Oh. We we still need to play uh, Hell Divers. So uh, at least two of my folks are on a uh, Pacific time. So Adam, the Renaissance Nerd, where people can find you. Oh, you can find my channel, the Renaissance Nerd. Also at my gaming channel, Renaissance Nerd Arcade. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday, means it's Saturday night. Drive in myself and Jed, the Hollywood scholar. We are watching Strange Stranger Than Fiction. I'm about halfway through it, kind of bored, but I gotta finish it. Uh, let's see. Then Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, the round table will discuss the week's events, try to give you a different spin on things, and then I will be over on the Beelza Hub for Get Ranked to talk 80s wrestling faces, golden age wrestling faces. Should be a good time. Uh, then Monday, Mel Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern. And let's see. And I'll announce it since we did announce it yesterday. If you haven't watched it, it's been re-uploaded re on my channel. Watch myself. Derman Static talk some anime on Anime Odyssey. And next month for April, we'll be watching season one. For those anime fans who are still hanging around, we'll be watching and discussing I re Reincarnated as a Slime season one. Dermy's never seen it. It should be good. I love it. Season three starts this week. I'm excited. I'll have a good time. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got nothing else. Hey, Fuck Shock, you, what are you doing on the... Uh, give me a moment. Mm -hmm. 25th of April. 25th. Probably the last Thursday of the month. Yeah, last Thursday. It is of the month. Thursday. I'm not sure yet why. You want to come on the Amity Odyssey for the first time? Oh, God damn Ooh. it. Jeremy, asking why, like, because I hate it when you do that shit. I should be able to, yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I'm free. Isn't it? Isn't it Adam's month? Yeah, it is it is Adam's that's month. my choice. Yeah. Well, but I don't. I, know. I, I, does I do the, the booking. Book. I don't do the booking. Oh, yeah, I do God. the booking. Adam hates it when I do it live. That's kind of why I do it live. <laughs> <laughs> do it live. Yes, I'm totally down. If I'm not doing it, all right. I'll so, check my schedule. if Shock can make it, Shock will be joining us to watch reincarnated. As, reincarnated. I can't speak anymore. Reincarnated as a slime season one. You're not even drunk. No, I'm just tired. 
My hours are all yeah. fucked up, and I got to get up in five hours. So, oh, okay, yeah. Well, actually, no, six hours. Sorry, six hours. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up so Adam can go to bed because he's mm. a man. I got to okay. drive somebody someplace because they're okay. That's questions. actually fair. You, you know what? That's fair. Yeah. When you said drive, you should never drive tired. Yeah. Although you do have hey, a Adam, five, you have a five dollar tip on stream elements. I do have a five dollars tip. <laughs> uh, five dollars from the communal you know. cum bucket. <laughs> most loyal bucket there ever was thanks for filling me up to the brim everyone i can barely hold anymore so can you get the fuck off already this uh, there, that that bucket so, has a name. so many layers to it yeah. there's so many layers to it i think i know what it's talking about uh but trust me the, the stream elements is not i love end. it but um let, let's then hit up the static yeah, uh, just want to say Stranger Than Fiction is a pretty good movie. Uh, just wait for Dustin Hoffman to get involved. Oh, he's been involved. I'm halfway through. I mean, the cast isn't bad. I'm just... I, my, he, the problem with Maggie Gyllenhaal is it's the same problem with Maggie oh, Gyllenhaal. God. You couldn't have found someone better looking. I know. That, um, that was, my, that was <laughs> the, that's yeah. the first joke on Make It Tomorrow Night is, what are we doing? This whole Maggie Gyllenhaal is a hot thing? What are we yeah, doing? yeah, yeah, I know. That they could have chosen he's looked, so many. He's she's looked good, at her long actor. legs and he's a good actor. This I'll give her that. Of, yeah, but like, cast yeah. isn't bad. It's just, well, listen, you guys want to hear yeah, my take? Yeah, Smart yeah, yeah. I, Jed and I, both of us, first time seeing it, and he chose it to generate a discussion episode, not so much a gushing episode. Okay, so you'll get my so, takes tomorrow night. Okay. Um. Anyhow, yeah, you can find me on my channel static 2020 where we've got monday night bloodbath where we talk about politics and then we've got the weekend pregame on thursdays where we talk about political social things and weird stuff like last thursday we talked about gay dinosaurs and microsoft that was the most disappointing dumb. fucking discussion i've ever seen and shock i needed you there for that you yeah you shock you were shock you were missed last night very oh, much i'm so. sorry man we made fun of people named a certain name. Um, hmm. Did AIDS kill all the dinosaurs? That was my joke. Yeah, essentially, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can find me on this channel on Tuesdays for Tuesday Night Mayhem. And then whatever randomness, I've got the kick channel where I'll be streaming Helldivers and maybe The Witcher 2. So oh, hell yes, dude. Mm -hmm. All right, here, hold on real quick, everyone. For whoever put The Witcher 2 on PC... Do not download the floral mod that adds more grass and flowers. It will break your game and result all the items, your swords and armor to zero. I didn't download any mods. I just, I, I mean, I got the game for three bucks. So I was just like, hey, three bucks. And I just. Oh, you know, bro. You can also. extend so, every sex scene by like five minutes. Who, I mean, wants, that's who, insane. who wants more floral? Real yeah, quick. Like mods gonna... like I want more grass and flowers. That's what it I is. Want... I want grass more. and flowers. I want, who does it? Who wants? Who downloads the mod saying, all. "I want more grass and flowers"? Yes, it makes the game look better. Like it adds better grass, better textures, more flowers. Better I want more grass Hurry and flowers and... over. I want bigger. No, boobs. hurry up and no, come. No, hurt. No, beat, <laughs> just beat Witcher two and get to Witcher three if you want more grass and flowers. Okay. I love the no Witcher two is great. I will help you mod it. It's fucking fantastic. I love the Witcher two. Shock. I love you. Shut the fuck up. What I I have to say this real quick. I forgot who Maggie, Maggie Gyllenhaal was. I thought it was maybe Jake uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's brother. Uh, no, no sister. Yeah, it is. Sister? Yeah, it is. Sister. Oh, it's his sister. Um, she was hot for one movie and then became immediately 60 years old. She was... the Listen, it, she did a movie with James Spader called The Secretary where she's naked through oh, the yeah, entire yeah. thing. Listen, um, she's she's hot in Dark Knight Returns. That's no. No, no. No. Just walked right into the meme. <laughs> oh, we, we just walked right into the meme, sat down oh, on the it. The one scene and where the Joker's like, "Aren't you gorgeous?" And I'm like, "No, what? Who are nope. you, you remember about? who was there before?" <laughs> yeah, Kate, Katie Holmes was there before. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's nothing compared to Katie Holmes, but I'm like, she's hot there. No, that's no, it. no, there's nothing else. No, no, and that. I mean, I can't believe got, you just walked right into the whole meme. I mean, of it. She, I know <laughs> she's got a nice body, but you know, put the listen, bag, she's you hot put the bag in that over scene. her face. She's hot in that scene. Then she dies. Then it's like, okay, it's done. She's 60 years old after that. Alpha's absolutely Because she looks correct. 60 years old. Because she has Alpha's a grandma correct. face. She's a bagger. Moving yeah, on. You oh, put yeah. a bag over her head and move Nothing's on. Nothing's wrong with a bag butter face. I can, like, 
I could do a lot with Butterface. I mean, but she's got a nice on. body. I'm, I'm not yeah. going to argue that. She's got a nice body, but her yep. face. Until now. No. no. Look up current day pictures. It's, it's... No, thank you. I'm, I'm good. Recently. I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah I haven't look looked recently. I'm not going to. Yeah, don't don't look up current day pictures. My wiener's getting confused Here. with all the up and down. Her, from this her brother's sexier than she is. <laughs> yeah, her brother's sexier New username. Than that is the gayest thing I've ever heard from Al. Speaking That's of gay fine. things. Shock, That's fine. How are you doing? That's fine. <laughs> shock, go. go. Shock. Oh, uh, I do YouTube videos. Shock Zulu 12. And uh, I stream on Kick Shaka Zulu One. We play a lot of Hail Divers, Elden Ring, and I'm probably gonna play Dragon's Dogma One because I keep getting FOMO watching other people play it. So, so I stream, I make videos. Great show, everybody, and good night. So to be perfectly honest with you guys, I completely forgot about downloaded and degrade. I still hey, have to finish we the get uh, young Nick Ricada. Uh, hey, the, the, you could do Yuffie in five hours. Yeah, yeah I, have, I have Yuffie DLC that I still have to do. It's so worth it. That it's worth. That it. might be Saturday, Saturday tomorrow. Just don't. Just you know what I'm saying. Don't fuck around in town for 45 minutes like I did. Just skip all the shit. It's worthless. Just get to keep on the story. Don't fuck around in. It doesn't in, transfer in, over. No, no. But you do get bonus summon materia for completing it. That so you have summon materia on your characters when you start rebirth. Okay. So you do want to beat it, but you don't have to fuck around doing the mini games and all that shit. It's not worth it. And I can do that on a retry because I'm also doing yeah. a replay right now in my personal time for yeah. remake. So and I'm just skipping through all the dialogue as fast as humanly possible and all the cutscenes because I just want to play the game because mm-hmm. I already got all the info. I just need. remember if you by skipping all the uh, side quests in uh, Market Town, uh, Aerith's dress will be shit. Oh, I'm not skipping any side cre- quests. Oh, I'm okay. literally grinding every single character. I'm doing every. Oh, I forgot you weren't level. You didn't, you didn't cap out to fifty, did you? Yeah, I did not cap out of fifty. Okay, I, I told you how yeah. to how to beat that game. No, you didn't. It, I haven't. I didn't know you beat the game. Oh, I beat the game. Uh, okay, I didn't know. I haven't spoken. I know you. we're extending this a little bit. Tell me. No, so tell how, me later. Tell me later. No, I want to tell you right now. All right, fine. So, in order to beat it, I had to make Barrett a literal undying machine mm-hmm. because I had I I tricked him out with all my healing materia and revive materia, and then I gave him uh, and then I gave him the revival earring. Mm-hmm. And because he's already like this tank that I had equipped to basically just keep raising his uh, AP as long as he defended. And then I did all this stuff that would basically lower all the damage he would take. So he was just constantly tanking the whole time. I had to play as Barrett. You let So you I basically let not... the AI win for you is what you did. I had to have the AI basically win for me. Yes. I would go God in and do like all the abilities. You I had to do suck. it. There was the only freaking way I could get literally to the third stage all by myself. That was a crazy fight, though, wasn't it? That was a fucking intense fight. Yeah, but you I gotta had love to it. Have it's got it's a one wing, a, a remix of One Wing Angel playing the whole time. Ooh. I didn't even focus on the music. I was so like, yeah. Barrett has to do it. It was my yeah. fifth try because no, it was my fourth try I've never because died my first try. I beat it first so my, time straight out. Beat it first time second out. Too. So my first fight, I fucked everything up. I well, I warned you. Didn't I, I? I died. I no, I died, and I did the reload wrong. So I had to go all the way back to the very beginning. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Let me ask you though, who 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 ended up being your party in that one? Uh, Tifa Barrett. Tifa Barrett Cloud. That was the first one I had to. So I don't think it's completely randomized. I think it's, it is. I think it is. I don't know because second time around it was Cloud Barrett Aerith. Second time around for me. I think it's very. I think they have a very specific way of doing it. So if it's Aerith next time, I'm already planning on how I'm checking out Aerith. But it, I have a whole plan. But I'm gonna do yeah. all, that all behind the scenes because uh, I I. I want to play the game again. But so yeah, you myself. replaying everything will you need level fifty. It's it's a lot of, it, I mean it's still a, a good fight at level fifty, but it's not a nightmarish fight, which obviously you, I'm, I, I'm I warned you it was gonna be rough for you. I told you you were gonna have to do something crazy. To I get streamed it. It was not fun. And yeah. I did it not in Discord, I did it all by myself. It was not a fun fight, and people can attest like I was struggling. There, there was a I, moment I told where you. I was I was I, told you. I was yelling, I kicked shit. I almost broke my monitor because I was so fucking pissed because I, I did mm-hmm. the whole push my, my stand thing. Yeah. It, it, it was a bad time. But anyways, <laughs> well, you got through it. I'm proud. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, kiddo. Good job, champ. 
Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Horny Elf, how can people find you? Hey, I'm Horny Elf. I do gaming content uh, throughout the week. Um, my main streams right now are Friday nights. We do the military stream nights. Fun, I call it Friday Fun Day. Um, we played uh, Hell Divers. <clears throat> uh, Dermy was there. It was a good time. Yeah, those um, are probably going to be the things that we do for a while. Yeah, Sunday nights. We I have my my other uh, my Sunday game stream, which we do other non military games. Um, I think Dermy, I want to get you on. I know you talked to me before. I want to get you on to play some uh, Phasmophobia at some point with us. I will be playing Phasmophobia over on Alf's channel on April seventh. April seventh. There we go. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um. Because I think he's gonna scream like a little girl. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely. You've never played it before, have you? I've never played it before. I've seen it played, and I'm, I'm a, I'm. I like horror movies. I'm a fucking pussy when it comes to horror. Yeah, games. it's gonna be fun. Um, and then uh, we've got to Star Trek Engage on Sunday afternoons, three fifteen. Uh, no, we're not back till May fifth. Central Standard Time, yeah, not till May fifth. Yeah, but uh, I may be taking a break at least because I'm in a job change right now. I won't probably be settled till mid July, so I may wait, hold off on participating in that until you know mid July. But uh, you can see me then, um, and then you can catch me on here on Ballbusters usually on Friday nights, and then Saturday nights on Bets Talking. So. And hey, yeah, uh, I'm at 350 subs. I'm on the the march to 500. So give me a sub. Anyone yet out there who hasn't yet, I could use it. If you're appreciated, if you are not a cuckold, you will go sub to fucking Alf. All links are in the description down below for every little buddy. Uh, by the way, I did see it. We have Young Nick Ricada. Hi, I'm Young Nick Ricada. We got is, is that a thing? meow Catboy Cat. Nick Ricada. <laughs> Nick's noodle Nick's arms. Noodle arms. <laughs> Got a lot of Nicks in the chat. Ron Toye. Uh, I love it. But uh, <laughs> last but not least, our simp extraordinaire, Cloud. How are you doing, buddy? How, how, how's the... Uh, how, how are you handling it? You know, do you have plenty of coconut oil? <laughs> <laughs> not enough. How's that 12-inch eel? The what? 12-inch eel. I don't know what you're referring to. Yes, you do. You know damn well what I'm referring to, you motherfucker. You watch side scrollers, you goddamn cocksucker. I'm drawing a blank. I'm, I, I don't. No, you know fucking what? Do I the 12 inch eel that went up the goddamn Asian man's ass? Eel that Blab's brought up eel. every single day oh, this man. week. I thought you were fucking talk. Oh, that. Re- oh, fuck. That reminded me. I was gonna make a meme of that, and I forgot to. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, that no, that I, that New England I, accent's I, coming out. That Boston I accent. <laughs> Not. <laughs> and the stream. Uh, and the stream. I'm waiting for Cloud. Hold Cloud, on, no. do your outro, you oh, fucking cocksucker! Fuck. Not already. Fine. <laughs> Not already. <laughs> Find me on Twitter, making memes and stuff. Uh, uh, I have a channel. You know, I post. But the shinies I get, please please sub to me. The link is in the description, and I'll be back here for the shit show on Tuesday of Tuesday Night's Mayhem. Well, Tuesday Night Mayhem. Not unless you play out. Not unless you're playing Hell Divers. It's yeah, be Hell Divers again, more than likely, just because. L- 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 real quick, it's so much fun. I don't have Hell Divers. It is so much fun, but real quick, the reason it's Hell Divers right now is because Tuesdays, as of right now, are. Like I can do Tuesday Night Mayhem, and then I'm gonna be blank again. So it's like I'll just do Hell Divers again. Not a whole lot of a lot of the stuff that's going on Tuesday. I'm doing on videos now. I'm gonna be thinking of how I'm doing Hell uh, Tuesday Night Mayhem moving forward. I'm I'm just figuring it out. Is what it is. But uh, yeah, this week it's gonna be Mayhem. Uh, it, it's Tuesday night's gonna be Hell Divers again. After that, it's gonna be no know nothing because of Vegas and then we'll figure it out after that. But until next time, guys, thank you all for hanging around. Thank you all for spending time. Thank you all for those of you who like this stream and everything like that. Love every single one of you. Please subscribe and uh, bye. Hey, Devin. Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice.
Bye-bye.